Anniders! Another week closer to July. You're kind of, we're talking three to four weeks back on the field, getting busy. And can't take no breaks between now and you know what? After that, there's no more breaks because normally you work right out through July. Out June and, get, and take a vacation now. No, they've already had too much vacation as it is. <laughs> oh, please, let it happen. Baseball, I watched it. I already have to come back. They're talking about it. <coughs> NBA has a schedule coming up soon. I need to see a professional franchise get back out there and get going. Then when you, it makes you feel so much better. <sighs> Don't shout too much. <coughs> You'll make yourself crazy. Oh, fam! Listen, Cam Newton has signed with the Patriots. Signed with, signed with the Patriots. Are you scared? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out because we got to play the Patriots. See, because I already considered that game going to be a cakewalk. Pick the cakes back up and put them back into the uh, refrigerator. They might not be uh, what happens if Newton plays. Uh, it's another story. Okay, anyway, you know what? I, let's, let's not worry about that right now. I'm just, I just thought I'd just mention it. Let's talk about the Niners because the Niners have reached a crossroads uh, with their personnel. And now that a championship team has, has finally been established, uh, some of the most important players on the unit have expiring contracts coming up uh, starting, well, starting now because at the end of the season it's going to be a problem uh, going into next year, 2021. Uh, 35 players set to become free agents, including 27, are unrestricted uh, on the top of looming salary cap issues with the Super Bowl wide. Super Bowl window is, I'm, I'm talking open all the way up. It's ours to lose, fam. Don't let nobody else tell you different. Anybody else is talking smack, they ain't got no game, and they ain't got no chance. So that's what I'm talking about. It's true. There's no, uh, there's no. Red and gold glasses and anything else. Look at our team. Look at everybody else's team. Look at our head coach and look at everybody else's head coach. Except for Belichick. <laughs> uh, the question is, <clears throat> let's get, uh, the question is, who do you keep and who do you sacrifice? Now, this is the thing. Because we can all agree that the 49ers are in position to make another Super Bowl run, as I just mentioned, this upcoming season. Many believe the team has the potential to become a dynasty for years to come, depending on how they manage the situation. But, but, with 35 players set to become free agents, including, as I mentioned, 27 of them are unrestricted on top of a dwindling, I'm talking paper-thin salary cap, the, que- and the certainty of the future is a, a huge question. And you already know how the Super Bowl window could suddenly close faster than expected. Look at the Rams. That window slammed so shut so hard. It's a good thing nobody's fingers were down at the base of that window. They'd have lost all their fingers. That window opened and closed so fast it was scary. It broke the glass out the window. The Hawks. You know what's funny about the Hawks? The Hawks didn't know it. Somebody could have told them three or four years ago they were done. They get to play regular. They get to make, be impressive during the regular season, and then they get to the playoffs and they get excused almost immediately. And do you real? Do you remember when the Cardinals were good? It wasn't that long ago. Twenty fifteen. See, twenty sixteen, right? Twenty fifteen, summer sixteen, somewhere near. They just recently turned to mediocrity. I, I uh, this is how what happens when you don't manage your team, right? You start losing players and things like that. Your personnel is very, very serious. And this is why I'm concerned. Uh, in fact, let's run down the top 10 2021 Niner free agents. The team must resign in order to keep that window open this, beyond this season. Uh, starting with number 10, Daniel Brunskill. He's got a legitimate shot at becoming the starting right guard at the 49 off. Uh, for offense is especially good in the run game. Even if he loses the starting spot to Tom Compton, uh, Brunson's ability to play several positions along the offensive line at a strong level makes him a valuable piece worth keeping. Remember when he came in and did when Joe Staley left? And also that uh, our draft pick from last year, uh, school struggled. Sk- Brunson came right in there and plugged that up right now. Kendrick Bourne, my favorite dude. Next year, we got to figure out what we're going to do with KB. Uh, and how do you not love KB with his off the hook energy? I mean, KB's always just, uh, KB is just, the dude just gyrates, man. 
And, and, and a smile, even Batman's worst nemesis, the Joker. Joker's got to be jealous of KB. KB's out there just killing people and smiling and laughing, dancing, spinning the ball. I love to watch him play football, man. And on the field, KB has become a reliable target for Jimmy G. You've seen it. It's undeniable. All his haters, y'all, y'all know. Y'all know. KB straight up gets it done. So to the point that the Big Show and I have been arguing about KB for how many years? See, Big Show knew he was wrong, and he started allocating funds to the, <laughs> to the Super Chat in order for me to buy a KB shirt. I'm going to get it, too. <laughs> he knows. I said, Show, if KB shows up this year, man, you got to give me, I need a jersey, man. Give me an 84. So, you know, even those who hated to see KB excel, it's too late. He's already done it. Uh, he's also proven to be a much-needed red zone threat. It's true. As he continues to improve his ability to get open and also make contested catches, KB is an essential receiver, even if not considered to be a true starter. KB is important. At eight, E-man Mosley, after Spoon's injury, followed by a slow return, Mosley really stepped up his level of play on the opposite of Sherm. And while the futures of both Sherm and Spoon Aren't entirely known. It's clear that Mosley has earned the right to be a starting quarterback for the Niners. It's going to be tough to get him out of there, boy. Spoon, Tim Harris, all these guys we got that are, that are hanging around in the background trying to get Mosley out. Mosley, I don't think Mosley will lose it. His confidence level has to be off the hook now. He knows he made a mistake in the Super Bowl, but you know what? He, I would bet the farm. He never makes that mistake again. When you see that receiver jet jetting by you, you do not go north and expect anybody to take care of it. You go with the receiver. That is a rule of thumb for any DB. The end zone is right behind you. Get on it. Everything in front of you can be taken care of. He knows. He knows. Don't get mad, Ron Bo. Don't get mad. And at seven, Kwaski T. Statistically, Kwaski is not a star, right? Right? But the defense is allowed... Points per game doubled from 14.9 to 29.4 when he was out with a rib injury. Now, granted, I understand that a lot of that stat, uh, that number can be attributed to the fact that during that game with that, that fiasco that took place in Nolens with Jimmy G and, and Drew Brees dueling, that was a lot. Of, <laughs> ooh, that was a lot of points in <laughs> one game. G wouldn't give it up. He would not lay down. And Drew Brees... Hall of Fame bound and all said, I, I'm Drew Brees. What you think here? Oh, man, it was ugly. But we came out winning on that one. But that did, that did that's part of what that 29.4 has to be about, though. Because Marcel Harris, he wasn't awful, but he wasn't real good. He started off kind of bad. In fact, in that game, when Kwaski first missed, was, was the Saints, and Cook just ate him up. He wouldn't have ate up T, a Kwaski T. All right, wouldn't he? So, you know... I, this is what happens. Marcel got all right. I, I ain't mad at him. You know, he got better week after week after that. With that said, though, he may not be the same caliber player as someone like Jamal Adams. Everybody get, get, bring Jamal Adams! Bring Jamal Adams! Dart's play making ability makes him a valuable piece of this defense. Underline the key words there. This defense. Okay, you can bring Jamal Adams in. He's a better football player than Kwaski. I ain't going to argue with you about that. But what I am going to tell you is this. While this Super Bowl window is open, don't be putting things in there that you might end up saying, damn, Kwaski wouldn't have did that. You know, see, that, that's, what you, that's what you're up against. And then the, for people who like to think long term, yeah, but in the future, boy, now the, the future is now. You got to be careful about moving players around, especially when you're already in the window. And then at number six, DJ, more Mrs. Jones, baby boy. For someone who weighs 304 pounds, one thing we know is DJ didn't miss no meals. Mama fed him really good. But here's the thing. Jones is an extremely athletic player who anchors that defensive line with both his run-stopping and pass-rushing abilities. That was Jones and dropped all world. <laughs> I mean, Russie Wilson didn't know what happened. <laughs> what is this, man? What's your name? DJ Jones, baby. Let me help you up because I'm going to bring you back down in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I tell you. And uh, that, he, he provides a, He creates a domino effect that allows the other defensive linemen to dominate uh, the opposing uh, offensive line, right? And number five, K. Juan Williams, the most underrated defensive back in the league. Williams is possibly one of the most 
I mean, the guy's got skills. You, how, many, how many slot corners got off on the 49ers this year? You know who that was keeping that quiet? Yeah. K1 Williams. I mean, his ability to cover slot receivers, force fumbles, and get to the quarterback makes him a must keep for the 49ers. Keep notes. I'm telling you right now, you got to pick some. You can't keep all of these people. You cannot. Number four, Kyle Juszczyk. Juice is the best fullback in the game. You'll never get an argument about it. He is the offensive weapon dubbed by John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan when he first got to, to the place. Uh, his ability to run, receive, receive, like he, he runs routes like a wide receiver, makes plays with the balls in his ball in his hands, and he's a dominant blocker who paves the way for running backs. Most of the kid, if you get rid of him. Juice is virtually irreplaceable on this offense. And again, the key word is this offense. And in fact, Juice, probably any offense for that matter. The dude is just does his job well. And number three, Richard Sherman. Sherman's getting older and has lost some speed. We all know that. He still continues to dominate on defense with his technique. Football IQ, which earned him an all-pro nod this past season. I don't care if he is 31. He remains a captain of the team and a mentor to all defensive backs. The Niners cannot afford to lose Sherm. Not yet, not yet, especially because there's no clear replacement who can fit in his shoes. See, this is the thing. You can get rid of these people all you want to, but you better make sure you got somebody to, put, to fill up that void. Otherwise, you got deep trouble, deep trouble. This team is, is good, but they're, not, they're delicate in a way that you can't get rid of certain personnel. Trent Williams at number two. And from a football perspective, Joe Staley will be missed for providing consistency at the left tackle position from both uh, from a skill and durability standpoint. You know this. Joe Staley has been nuts. Boy, that boy is, we're going to miss Joe. But not on the field so much so. Why? Uh, given the complexity of Shanahan's offense, having experience in this uh, system, as, as TW does, is extremely important. You know this. Especially with COVID-19 putting a big comma on official team practices. <laughs> That said, the 49ers must keep Trent Williams as, a, as any other replacement will likely come up a large, uh, to be a large drop in talent. Number one, and you know who it is, George Kittle. You, <laughs> George Kittle means more to this offense. Whew, man, I, I tell you what, fam, uh, this offense, the organization, he's become actually the face of the organization just about. He's about that close to taking it away. Jimmy's got to get out there and assert himself next season. But George Kittle is the man as far as his teams go. Let's put it this way. If Kittle leaves, things will get ugly quick. And I don't want to hear about all that. George Kittle, what a kid to pay the money we go pay him. We'll move right on without him. Yeah, you, you, you will. You will, yeah. I got news for you. All that don't mean nothing. You lose George Kittle in this offense, it will be like getting kicked with a ballistic missile. The, the team will have to regroup and restructure everything they do. George Kittle is so valuable, I can't stand it. Now, I hope he takes that 13 to $15 because the 49ers actually cannot go beyond that. So, problem. Anyway, you know, here, here's, here's what we're going to do. Uh, you go ahead. And other than George Kittle, which is the 2021 free agent from this list, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and take him out. You, you got <laughs> You got a few people. Uh, who's a priority to re-sign on this list? Yeah, just to refresh you on that, Kendrick Bourne, Daniel Brunskill, D.J. Jones, Kyle Juszczyk, Emmanuel Mosley, Richard Sherman, Kwaski T, K. Wad Williams, Trent Williams. Because you're the Williams brothers. What are you going to do, fam? I tell you what, I can't even answer this question myself. <laughs> I don't even know how if you're going to get out of the top 10, how many of you going to care we keep? We ain't got that much money. Because after you sign Trent Williams, you know what you got? You got about five of these guys you can keep. Five of them, you got to let them go. You do. You know what, though? I'll, I'll just, just give you my, my, my thing real quick. If I got to get rid of five guys, I might let Brunsko go depending on how McKibbitz looks. Damn. <laughs> Fam, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. That's the only guy I can see. I, I know how you feel about Kwaski D's his contract expires next year. You're talking about bringing in somebody else, but you still got to pay money. K. Williams. Boy, that boy's been awfully good. 
You can move J Dub to. <laughs> you can move J Dub to the slot, and then sign Adams. Okay, maybe that. I might be able to leave Kwaski out, move Dub to the slot. I got still got DJ Reed who can back him up. No, K1. I'm talking to K1 Williams. Get rid of K1 Williams. Williams is better than Day Job at the slot. Oh, I still know what to do. Hey, just in time. Hey, <laughs> Cam Newton last eight starts 08 622 one passer rating. He was hurt, Justin. <laughs> I guess I'm trying to give him an excuse. Thanks, Justin, for that contribution. <laughs> Woo, man! I still know what to do. And, and Guerrero. Hey, Rumble, so everyone is scared of Cam Newton because the laughs and emojis everywhere. Come on, Faithful Niners got this. Even better for us to go to the Super Bowl with Patriots and win it. I don't think the Patriots go to the Super Bowl, though. Cam is, I don't even know if he's going to start. Cam's got to beat out the guy that, uh, he might be over there just to, well, I, Belichick must have, well, you can, you can win the job. I'm not giving you anything out, right? You can come in and you can compete. And if you can win the job, you got the job. That's all I'm going to tell you. Do the best you can. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm your employer. <laughs> Lavelle Forrest says, what's up? I cannot wait for the football season to start. I believe our record will be 12 and 4. Uh, we're going back to the Super Bowl. Guarantee you, let's go. Niners! Talking man, 78. Niners! So he says, uh, it says, hashtag go Niners. Hashtag Niners faithful. Hashtag Niners empire. Hashtag Niners for life. Hashtag revenge tour 2020. God bless. Talking man. Ed Nevis says, number one, Rommel, is Kittle signed him already so we can do some, some beatings in the NFC West? I agree. Boy. And Kittle, I, there's a lot of story behind Kittle. He can't really get away, actually. We can franchise tag him for three years and actually save money. George Jesus take that $13 to $15 million. Jerry Fresh, hey, good to see you, Jerry. I've been doing great, man. Good to see you there, too. Uh, Mr. Black Eyes 22 says, hey, uh, Ron, uh, 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 he says that Rambo, sports at the end of the day, all our players uh, is on a contract here. First off, my Niners owe us. We are winners. It's all about consistency and all our positions. So go all out. Mr. Black Eyes, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> DJ Malone. He says, hey, we'll have the division locked up by week 12 and the NFC uh, number one seed locked up after beating Dallas in week 15. God, wouldn't that be pretty? Come in. Lord and I, all they have to do is beat Dallas, and they are the number one seed going into the final week. Beat Dallas all the beat the brakes off of them. That'd be pretty. Hey, Cynthia. Cynthia says, I love Kwaski. Love that play versus DK before the end. So, see, this is. I'm going, I'm not taking Kwaski. I'm not getting rid of Kwaski. He'd be cheaper. Actually, he'd be cheaper, actually, than trying to sign Adams anyway. Because Adams is talking mad money, right? Kwaski knows. That he should probably stay uh, somewhere. I don't know. I got to look at what safeties get. But he, Kowalski's not going to go crazy with that. And James Brown says, Jimmy was the most blitz quarterback in the whole NFL. Jimmy's a beast. <laughs> uh, James, I agree, man. I, I like me some Gene, Gene Garoppolo. I mean, he gets, he gets flack for a lot of things I do not fully understand. But I'm ready to defend him in any minute. Me and, me and Juice and about a thousand others. And, uh, this just in. Justin, <laughs> Justin, man, come on in. How's it going, Rambo? Ah, uh, it's it. It could be better. I need for this virus to please stop it so we can get things underway. But other than that, we can still make plans. And Justin, this is the you question. Know, let, me, let me let me let me just finish this part though. This is the question. Yeah. This is going to be a hard thing to do. I don't know who the Forty Nine is going to resign, but they're not going to be able to keep these top ten players. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, but go ahead. But try, tell me who you're getting rid of and who you're keeping. Oh, getting rid of? I got a top ten of who I'm who I'm resigning though. I made that right. like what was that, three months ago. I might, I got that for three months already. Uh, George Kittle, uh, number one. Mm. Two, Richard Sherman. Mm -hmm. uh, Kwan Williams, cornerback. Mm. Uh, he's number three, and like Kwasi T. Uh, mm. And Nick Mullins, number five. Six, you know Kendrick Bourne. Nick Mullins. They didn't put, he's not on the seven list. But he does have to be resigned. Seven, yeah, seven Tavares Moore, eight, eight Ross Dwelly, and then hey, nine Kyle Dusek, and then and then ten Akello Witherspoon. 
Is Tavares more? Is this contract expiring already? I think so. Oh wait, no. Tav- no not Tavares. Uh, get- Manny Mosley. Manny Mosley. Oh, Manny Mosley. <laughs> he's, you know, yeah. he's an undrafted. He's got one more year. You're right. This is it. He's been here with us two years already. This is three. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Um, That's the, you, you, a lot of those contracts you're talking about are not expensive, too, so those are probably doable. Uh-huh. Did you mention Juice? I did. Juice Tech. Okay. Kyle Juice Tech. Right. Uh, yeah. Um, but uh, I'm not uh, – so, like, I'm, I kind of want to, the first person I think we should sign, even though George Kittle is real important, I think we should sign Richard Sherman because we still need – Death at that cornerback position, and still need veteran presence at that cornerback position. If we don't, we have to, we have to, we have to like a little bit do a first round cornerback draft, and in, in the next year's draft. And I don't think the 49ers want to waste the first round pick on a corner. That might be a bust. So, you know, and so yeah. I don't know how good this next next year's uh, corners look for eligibility. Yeah, you know that's. And, and, and every year everybody says, get a cornerback, please, get a safety. It, all those years we keep saying that. I, the 49ers can't go out and sign any superstar to come play cornerback either. So you're right. We need to farm something up right now. He said, but it could be. It could be Harris. He could be the sleeper. You know, I think Marcel is – I don't think Not Marcel, Marcel is going to come Marcel. back after this. No, no, no. Cornerback. He got hurt last year. Oh, he got picked in the seventh oh, round. Oh, yeah. You'll be yeah. Well, yeah, also Tim Harris, too. He's a sleeper. He could be a sleeper, too. Tim Harris. That's who I'm talking about. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my bad. Um, Eric Crocker said that he he's he was from a nominal college. He, I, you know, um, so I think, you know, he's, he's going to be a good one. You know, I think uh, you just need okay. to give him time. Wait, you know? hold, hold on a second. Oh, hopefully he's well, not a... Justin, hold on a second. Uh, Whoa, Willie, please don't spam. All right, because then I got to – then we have to take action. Don't spam. All right, please don't spam. Okay. Go ahead. I, I I don't I hopefully he's not a Rashad Robinson you know pick like Rashad Robinson if everybody knows Rashad Robinson he was supposed he, to be really great. Well, he was. He started out but, great. I don't know what happened to Rashad. God. Uh, and then we uh, we you know the corner for us we've been hit and missing for these draft picks. You know, I remember another another cornerback that we drafted. I forget his name, but he went to Green Bay. He plays safety now. Uh, he plays free safety now for Green Bay. I forget his name. But uh, we've been hitting and missing for these cornerbacks on drafting. So, you know, Richard Sherman, he needs to get resigned as soon as possible. Yeah, you know, cornerbacks are hard to find, especially one that can actually not get smoked. I mean, think about our luck down through the years. The reason why we've got – they look good now is because we finally got a good defensive front line. But if your defensive front line, if that guy at the corner is not just, I mean, an ace, he's going to get toasted. That's just the way it is in the NFL. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just, I really, I'm, I'm hopeful for the secondary. You know, Richard Sherman had said a good pass rush is a good, is a good, uh, is going to make the secondary better. And we lost, we lost, <laughs> okay. uh, we lost the Sheldon Day. We, we lost Sheldon Day. We lost uh, the Force Buckner. Okay, but hold we, on. We also hold on. are getting oh, back. J- Justin, hold on. Oh God, what is with? Okay, you, 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 you people from the other team, you can come on in and join us. But if you're going to be abusive, you got to go, huh? Yeah. Gas chamber. Yeah, please don't do that. No, don't spam. Come on, guys. Give me a break. All right, go ahead, Justin. Uh, like I was saying that, you know, we we get, we, we picked up Kerry Hyder, a former Dallas and a former, a former Lions pass rush, you know, the free agency. Mm-hmm. You know, we so we are filling that void that Buck and left, and hopefully it's Ken Law, the law, as I, as I like to call him, um, you know, he hopefully he could fill that void. Uh, do I expect you know him to take on a massive role like Nick Bosa? No, because he he doesn't need that pressure yet. He's a first round pick, of course, but he needs time to you know develop his develop and you know learn on the Robert Sala because you know, you know Nick Nick Bosa was injured injured in preseason and he he came on maybe short because of his presence with the with <laughs> Ohio State. So I'm expecting Kinlaw. Yeah, you know, be a good do- dominant player, but not not too quickly. You know? and, and also, but. we we got to tone our expectations. Don't expect him to come in and, and like gangbusters like Nick Bosa did. Kinlaw's gonna gonna require some time because he didn't get a, a preseason. But you like remember? you said, Nick didn't have a preseason either. But Nick is cut from a cloth. Not many are. Oh my god. Yeah. 
Yeah. What I'm excited to see is our wide receiver, Brendan Ayuk. I want to see to make sure, you know, because I because remember and I, and I remember I was telling all season I was like I was against drafting a receiver in first round, but after the loss to Sanders, I was like, okay, we got to draft first round receiver, mm. and I mm. I want to see this guy succeed. I really do. I do too. Just, just a of time. Let me let me. I'll see you. Hey, hey we got another night. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Yes, sir. How's your eye? You feel all right, you guys. Have a good day. Yes, sir. Always. Right. Good, good, good. <laughs> Back to work all tomorrow. Right. Back right, to work bro. tomorrow. Good. All right. All right, all right y'all. Have a good day. Just be safe and, you know, wear your mask and wash your hands. Please. Have a good day, everybody. And don't touch your face. Thanks, Justin. Have a good night. Yeah, later. Good day. Oh, man. Hey, Jay. Come on in, Jay. What's up, Rombo? Jay, man, I, 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 I sit there and cry, and I say to myself, we can't. We can't keep all these dudes, man. God, they got no money. Hey, Jay, man, have you thought about who's going to have to get unrenewed? <laughs> I'm Daniel man. Brunskill, Kendrick. I'm talking E-Man, Mosley, Kwaski, T. These are all guys we've learned to love and enjoy. DJ Jones, K1 Williams, Kyle Juszczyk, Sherm. And Trent Williams and George Kill. Don't even put the – I mean, come on, man. What are we going to do here? I mean, who are you going exactly. to sacrifice? Exactly. That's why I was saying – yeah. And that's why I was saying we can't we can't trade. You know, we can't trade and get another player here because – especially Jamal Adams because he, he's going to be worth a lot of money. And we got other players we need to sign. So, I'm going to see and say, you know, we're going to probably keep I want to say probably 50 to 60 of them, percent of them. So I don't know who the 40 percent we're going to let go. I don't know. It, it depends on if they all come in and and if they want to sacrifice their pay to win Super Bowl, you know what I'm saying, we can probably keep them all, but we ain't going to be able to. You know, it's just that simple. And, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, it, it hurts because you know that you know we're trying to build a dynasty here, and and the more you have, the more the players you have that you have on this team that recognize what you're building is better. You can make this team a better team Ooh. Oh, overall. Hey, Jay, can I get you to hold on just a second? Don't hold that thought right there. Josh won. <laughs> Josh, I'm sorry. We've got. An attack of spammers tonight from other teams. So you were accidentally uh, hit up there. So sorry, Josh. You know we love you. Uh, Spammers, I'm going to give about one more, and then I'm going to start blocking because you guys are – is it the same guy? I don't know. Anyway, hey, Jay, go ahead. So, you know, I just feel like, you know, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't think we, you know, we can get younger. We can get some players from the draft. Um, I think um, Sherman's probably going to be gone. I think the next oh, year. Oh, Jay, you're getting rid of Sherm? I know, right? But I'm not going to get it. rid of him. I'm not going to get rid of him. But you know what I'm saying? He's he older might be the most expendable. And I'm just, yeah. And you got to think, you know, the speed. Yes, you know, you, you can't teach the mind, but you, and you know, then you can't teach speed. So. He don't have speed, but he has the mind. You know what I'm saying? Which so, actually, which actually makes him more dangerous because what a youngster with all correct. that speed and talent can do, Sherm still go out playing. Yeah, because they overplay themselves too much too, and you all still can get beat if you if you don't have that mind. And that's why Sherman don't get beat. That's why he can make up for the speed. It's because of his mind. And if, but knowing Sherm, he likes the team a lot. He might be able to. Um, He's not taking a. To an he ain't taking a. That, he ain't taking a team free, team team friendly uh, contract. And well, he already did, but his incentives yeah. were so big. Oh, but you know what? Those incentives don't hurt the Forty Nineers. No, if Sherm does another one of the things where he takes a small contract, but if I make this, that's what I'm saying. This, this, and this, and I get paid. Where, where, where he's going to go? He's going to go to somewhere where they don't have that kind of team. He's gonna go somewhere where he could get the money, but he, he he might not get the money. You know what I'm saying? They looking at it like this, 
Like especially people at 32. are always 30, looking. Yeah. yeah, he's thirty two. You know what I'm saying? He don't have the speed, and then you you might not get the defensive line that you have the forty nine. He's in a good situation right now. Yeah. That's why I think a lot of them is going to probably take pay cuts there. They can normally go to somewhere like Cleveland and get a big ass contract. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I love you. You, you yeah, said you went to Cleveland. It's like you know you, you go to teams that you know they could pay you, but it ain't gonna be a lot of fun. You know, so this is funny. Yeah, thing about exactly. It. And you know what I'm saying? And look at Odell Beckham. He, he <laughs> you know, know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's he does not look saying. happy, so does he? Know mentally, you know, he's not happy. You know what I'm saying? He was. He was already distraught when New York <laughs> traded him. So, you know, but the thing is, you know, I think, um, you know, Kyle can, Kyle Juszczyk can be gone. You know what I'm saying? But I want to keep, I want to keep George Kittle. You know what I'm saying? I want to keep, I want to okay, keep. Because uh, Killing Williams, everybody's Kittle. keeping Killing Williams. Go beyond that, Jay. Who are you going to cut after that? Man, you know I'm looking saying? at DJ Jones. I don't want to cut him. He showed me he could do it, Kwaski T, and this He defense. can do it, but, man, I don't, you know, you got to, we, we deep in that D-line, though. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, I know. And, I know. That's so true. Yeah, but you, and DJ Jones might take a pay cut because, you know, he's not a big name star, but – he but these guys, play, you know but I'm Jay, these guys are coming off of rookie contracts. You know, as a rookie, you don't come off your rookie contract and say, I'm willing to take a pay cut. You might do that in a third contract, but you ain't doing it in your rookie contract. You work True, hard. But you gotta look at the they, they gotta look at the situation. Well, like just yeah. like I'm saying, you could go to Cleveland and make the big bucks, but you ain't having a good time there. This is a good team that mentally is focused mentally every from from the owner all the way down to the the water boy they, this is a winning organization they're 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 instilling that in their players they're stealing it and or the, the whole organization you know what i'm saying they got these they got this whole team believing they don't mm. went to the super bowl so now they believe that hey we can go next year so why would i go inside somewhere to Go to Detroit. So you're, so you're saying, so you're saying on, 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 the, on, the, on the strength and quality of the organization alone, you will make that choice to stay with the 49ers rather than yes, go to a team where it's going to be questionable. Just, it's just think un, about it. It won't because change. Once you win, if you win one or two Super Bowls, then you got it all out the way. Then you can go get that money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, exactly. You know what I'm saying? And well, people don't throw money at you because they're going to try to nick and pick and take players out of your out of your team. You, you know, know, the problem is it's, it's a game where you get, you're one snap away from retirement every game, every snap. So that's why players look that's upon true. And that. That's true. That's and that's the part of – that's part of the that's the part of the gamble you take. You know what I'm saying? See, that's why I'm saying you gamble it's every time. tough. It's tough to take a team-friendly uh, contract, especially coming out of your rookie contract. You may not get another chance to get paid. So they, don't expect any rookies to come out taking any team-friendly contract. Look what look what DeForest Buckner did, and his and they didn't even try to cheat him, Jay. But, they was gonna give him eighteen mil. That's, diff that's different though. DeForest Buckner was a big name defensive player. You know what I'm saying? He was he was producing on the field. And, and he was 18 on the million field. wasn't enough. So, that's what blows my mind. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, because you got to look at it. He he does a lot, and people was like, "Oh, he didn't have the stats." But guess what he was doing? He was opening up doors for other players to make plays because everybody was game planning on him, the uh, double teaming him. You know what I'm saying? And then, and people always think of why he ain't producing. Well, they ain't about producing. It's about who the role on that they, line. They game plan. Yeah, they game uh, planning to stop you right. to make other people beat you. And that that was his function. Jay, we're out of time. Let me. We'll be back tomorrow night, though. All right, and be looking for you. All right, Rumble. All right, appreciate it, brother. Appreciate you, Jay. Good to talk to you. Thanks, fam. No doubt. Same here. All right, night. Good night. Mm. All right. Hey, hey, Alex. <laughs> no, I know Alex is good. Alex. Hey. Alex, man, you know, it's funny because, like, 
Uh, Josh, wait, let me apologize. Josh, I'm, we're sorry. Uh, it was like the spammers were moving so quick. Production people are working with both hands, and they actually got Josh. You got caught up in the in the raid. Anyway, Alex, is the thing is, I'm looking at every guy on that list. I can't stand seeing the part with any one of them. But, Alex, somebody's got to make the tough decisions. Can you do it? Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. All right. So we got, we, we got, got the names. All right, go we ahead. Gotta keep, we we got to keep Kittle. Oh, yeah, without Kittle. a doubt. Yep, so that's uh, he's at the top of my list. Now, right. I really, you know what? I believe that somebody who's as competitive as Sherm, um, I think we can get him until he's 34. I think it's smart to do it because here's the thing. We know that good quarterbacks, you oh, know, right. it's been a while <laughs> No, it's just, we we just know what it's like to have nothing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't we? Oh, that's uh, a truth, Carlos Alex. Rogers oh, a, we've Carlos had Rogers was a godsend. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Back in the day. Yeah. We've you know, and that was like something else. Yeah, yeah. You know, so what I think too with that comes, it's a choice between Mosley or Witherspoon after, because here's the thing: one of them is going to be better than the other. Now. That doesn't mean that either of them will get signed, um, <laughs> because one of them could be, one of them could be okay, and then the other one just do terrible. But here's the thing: this is Akello's year, um, before he's going to become a trade piece. Because we don't, if we get a fifth round pick for him, because somebody I think will be willing to give a fourth or a third, because there is talent there, and in the right scheme, I think Akello fits. But our scheme is based on a lot of, um, in my eyes, confidence. Confidence is a huge thing you see with our best players. Um, they attack their, they attack what they see, and sometimes Akello gets gets his hips turned the wrong way, man, and he just looks <laughs> lost. And and I, you know what, I love the dude because he gave big, he had some fight in him for the first four games last year. It was Didn't it he, was a great thing to see. He came in focused but, and looked like a man on yeah. a mission, and all of a sudden, like a dog. <sighs> then he turned into a puppy. Yeah. Um, but I think Mosley, I, I'd, I'd really, really like to see Mosley stay because I do think we saw, you know, we saw a dog on special teams. That dude right? was the, if it wasn't, if it wasn't him, it was Mosley. You know what Alex, I mean? remember so, when Mosley ran, what's that big tight end in, in, in uh, Minnesota's name? Randolph or yeah. Rudolph? Yeah, I remember Mosley took him, grabbed him by the waist and ran him several yards out of bounds. Mosley's got exactly. the eye of the it's tiger. Tough. I do like that about you know, him. He is unexpendable. You're right. I think I think Mosley, man, shows you that, you know, if you just keep sharpening his tools, he's just gonna get better. Because yeah. every time you gave him a chance, he showed, he showed up. up. You know, he didn't ever he didn't ever turn her out or anything like that. He was oh, always there. That play you know, against DK Metcalf? Wow. You know, did he make mistakes? Of course. Every player mm. makes mistakes. But it didn't he didn't seem like he was getting picked on ever. Um, so next, uh, we'll go next. We got juice. You know, we know how valuable he is to the yeah, offense. You can't just, you can't just ruin these types of guys that are willing to, to do what he does. No, he's, um, you're not going to find another juice. Next, you know, I got kind of a little trio here. Um, there's so we, we can all imagine the possibilities. Um, but I got DJ Jones, uh, Ron Blair and Solomon Thomas. If oh, he performs, Blair's um, contract expires. you know, I think, I think uh, I think I think one thing is this: if Solomon does, let's just say he does enough to to earn a second another contract with us, but that doesn't mean he does great. You know, if he takes a pay cut, you know, because he's making nine mil this year, that's a lot of know, money right? for a dude that and that hasn't been you know, that seriously contributing. Yeah. yeah. So, so I could see him. Let's say he just does. If he just does okay and enough to make us want to keep him, you know, three couple three million a year. That opens up six, and I think with six mil, we could keep DJ and Blair on top of that. And okay. you know, we I, I I just can only imagine us, you know, const- trying to keep continuity within our uh, O line and D line, to where we'd also keep Trent Williams and and Brunskill, because we got school for two years, two more yeah, years. Yeah, I man, you know, our trench. Go ahead, I'm sorry, I'm listening. Ahead, I was, I was just because I was sitting there thinking about uh, the, that cut, but anyway, go ahead. Um, you know, we we 
Sherman, he just wants to win, bro. Like, yeah. he really just wants to win. He wants to prove that, you know, so what? In this system, this dude's a king. You know, this dude's a top dog. Um, and I think he, you know, maybe it's only a few mil. Maybe it's just two mil. But every little bit goes a long way. Then, you you know, I, I, I hope I hope Solomon plays good enough to, uh, you know, get a contract. But... I don't hope he plays good enough to where it's too too rich for us either. You know? Yeah, he, you know what though? We got so that's one place we're really rich. I you got I got Solomon's gonna be a cap casualty. Even if even if we if you're thinking along your line of thinking, Solomon T is he's just he's gotta really blow it up this year and let somebody else be a cap casualty, or else he's the yeah, guy. For real. Third yeah. round, third first round pick, he's gotta he's gotta really show something this year, or but, else but Ronnie, you know one thing, one thing good about him, yeah. You I mean, know, I mean one thing how good about Ronnie Blair about and Niner, I'm sorry, go ahead. I, I don't think Solomon has any leverage unless he pulls 50, twenty sacks out of himself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I'm I not mean, getting I mean, rid of Ronnie Blair honesty. and keeping Solomon Thomas. You, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, that's that's the right. thing. Ronnie Blair has played, in all honesty. What what Ron Blair has done for us in the time that he's played is actually played to what we thought Solomon Thomas would be. Yeah, you know, just a just a run stuff and big dude who can make plays in the pass rush. And and, but and Alex, what's crazy? Is, we, yeah. we we got to stop. But I just want to say, I want to reiterate that I said in 2017, I said, why do we need Solomon Thomas when we got Ron Blair and Eric Armstead? I got argued exactly. into the dirt. Okay, see, I, I, man, I knew, I see this one coming. Anyway, well, I, I, I guess I, I got some questions I'm gonna ask, ask you before I go to bed tonight. So, I'll, uh, let me let me talk to you later, Alex. All right. Yes, sir, Good talking to you, brother. Always, fam. All right. Night. Oh God. Hey, it's, it's Stevie. Boy, this is this is up Stevie's. This is good stuff for Stevie, but because Stevie, I know he's got a plan on this. Stevie, Rumble, what's up? Ah, Stevie, great to hear from you on this subject, man. You know, because this is like down through the years, boy. We was we bought a blade out and started cutting people right and left. We didn't have no problem with it coming down from 2016, 2017. Shoot, part of 2018, <laughs> and now sh- that party's over. We can't get no revenge because you know you get rid of the frustration when you start cutting folks because they was messing up. Stevie, look at this team, right. man, and the ten top ten guys got picked out here that really are important to this team. You can't keep all of them. Wait, Steve, what are you, how are you gonna do? Well, I mean that's a good situation to have. That means you have good players on your team. That's and winning. But I mean, yeah. No, yeah, and winning. But um, like what people saying with Quacky Park. Nah, Stevie, I'm, you I'm get, a fan as well. Stevie, are you your speaker? Because we can but, barely your your voice is like way back. No, no, can you hear me now? Uh, well, kind of the same. All right, go ahead, continue though. I got on headphones uh, right now. Can you hear me? Now? What about now? You got what on? I got headphones on. Okay. Yeah, how's your, are you close to the mic? Yeah, I'm close. Hold on, let me take them out. Now. I can talk to the microphone. Yeah, it might be better. Yeah. What about now, Rumble? Yeah, not gonna be loud and clear. All right, go ahead, Steve, because I want to hear this. All right. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a Tart fan, but you know, uh, Tart is expendable. Like yeah. he's he's very good in our system, but I mean, has Tart been to the Pro Bowl? Has Tart been named an All Pro? True. You no, know, has he been healthy all his career? Mm. No. But you know, he he fits. I said people saying, oh, it's cheaper for him for us to keep him. From what I was um, reading, they said uh, Jamal Adams will be cheaper for, if we if, say if we trade for him, right? Say yeah. we trade Tart and we get Jamal Adams. Yeah. We still got Jamal Adams on a rookie contract right now. So what will well, happen for, for the two one years? Year. I, I, I know they said he won. He, he, no, he he said he'll if if it's for contender, he'll he'll play out his rookie uh, contract and then get paid after that. He just he's just on the losing team right now. That's why he's so frustrated. He'll come to us wait, wait, and wait. all that. I thought get Jamal Adams and and Solomon T was picked up in the same year. You they mean were, this but year. you know he has a fifth year option. Fifth year option. He has a fifth year option on his. So Wait, you know that's it's, two years. In this, this, this is fifth year option. Uh, next year, no, oh, no, Sol- no. This Solomon, is Solomon T- year. 2017, 18, 19, 20. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, There's one more yeah, year. This, this that's is the right. fourth year coming up. Yeah, that's right. It All is right. the fourth right. year this year. So he will play out that, then he'll pay on the fifth year option. No, because I'm, I'm pretty sure coming with us, he'll he'll definitely do that because he's on a contender team, and who doesn't want to play for us, you know? But 
the guys like you mm. said, uh, DJ Jones and all of them, that's mm. bad. He's not, he, he's not going nowhere. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, I know he's, he's playing on a rookie contract, and like you said earlier, um, they, don't, they want to get paid and stuff, but it's, how many times are you going to get paid and be on the Super Bowl team? True. You don't know what his, what's going to happen in his free agency. Nobody knows. Because Ronald Blair did it. Ronald Blair came back. His rookie contract was over last year, but he came back on a one-year deal. Yeah. Granted, he got true. hurt. You know, his, his market was kind of small, but even mm-hmm. still, DJ Jones, I'm pretty sure, will do the same thing. Because we're, we're going to – it's, it's going to be a lot of fat cut off, Rumble, mm-hmm. coming up after this season. It's going to be a lot of fat cut off to what we're going to be able to pay for. There ain't a lot of fat. You know, after, it's after, not, but you know, it's, it's some little pieces that can go like a Solomon Thomas that can go this year. And everybody, you, your Thomas favorite go. targets are Solomon and, and after, and after but, Dante. But he produced Rumbo. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, but, man. You, you're a third overall pick. What have you produced? Uh, DJ Jones is better than you, and he was a fifth round pick. <laughs> Ronald Blair is better than you. <laughs> so, Jamal Adams has more sex than Solomon Thomas did. He had six and a half sex playing, playing in the second year. I know. Position. Mm-hmm. Like, come on, man! Like, we had like, come on. He's he's a rotational player, somewhere. Like, cause you still got guys like Julian Taylor and Chris Gibbons or Kevin Gibbons. I forgot how to say his name, whichever one it is. It's then Kevin. you have then you just drafted Kinlaw. If you did, if you believe in Solomon Thomas, you don't draft Kinlaw. Obviously, you truth? don't believe in him. That's the truth. That you know what? So, that is what they were thinking. Otherwise, and they thought about yeah. it too a long time too, Stevie, before they went for that that move for Javon. Right. Because it it makes no sense. I, it made no sense for us to get him get him then. But it, it's it's like if that's the past. We can't you know focus on the past. We can only focus on the future right now. Mm-hmm. So with that, Rumble, we're, we're we're gonna be good. I know that I trust the front office to make the right decision. If we keep talk, we keep talk. If we don't, we don't. Whatever. I I just trust the front office. Now it's this is the point where whatever move they make is I'm I'm agreeing with because it's all they they proven to me now. They didn't know what they're doing all the they way. Did, yeah, they do. They made a they few couple right mistakes, players. but everybody does. How about Kwan Williams? Yeah, I mean, you got to. No, we, we can't let him go, Romo. Nah, See? nah. That's the best nickel corner. Oh, that's basically. I think he's number one and number two at nickel corner. I can't believe let it. that go. That's that's part of the rarest position, and that's part. Of, that's the hardest DB position, by the way. On that's the field, a, you got to cover inside, outside. You got linemen coming at you. You got fullbacks, running backs. You got the hardest job, really, out of everybody. Because you, you got to you got to shift his receiver. Hmm. And sometimes and the they're the tall ones too, so it's just oh. yeah. You you don't let good slots go. I know we got DJ Reed, but he's a backup. Still, that, he's a backup, you know, and he still got what he got two what, a year or two left on his contract. Yeah. So I mean, they they're gonna be able to sign Kwan back because he and, and, and Stevie. I, I, his it, did, market did might you, be good, but I feel like we still could get him. Too, but do you hear my idea about sliding Jimmy uh, J Dub into the slot? Uh, but does he then, want to play that? Remember, remember, he said he wants to play strictly safety now. He, he doesn't does. want to move all over again. But you know, Dub ain't gonna argue with nobody. They say, Jimmy, we need you to go to the slot. We're gonna we're gonna sign uh, Adams. And, right, uh, and he's locked up for three years too, so he has to. He, yes. Well, <laughs> and what, they did say that it's gonna be a lot more man this year with this new DB coach that we have. They said yeah. they're gonna play a lot more man this year than his own. So maybe because he said he's gonna be used more than he was before. Yeah. And when you go, I think he said it on his IG live. So. I, we'll see. I, I mean, I'm not arguing with that. I'll take that. And so, what you say is, if you put Jimmy at the slot and you put uh, Jamal Adams in the front and keep Kwaski at the strong. Well, you know what? I'm trying to figure out: is Adams better at the box, or do you think you like him in the center field better? Yeah, no, you keep you keep him in the box because he, yeah. that's where he's more active at. Yeah, like so I too. mean, he he causes turnovers. He doesn't. I, I don't think he gets all the interceptions. Like, I don't think he gets a lot of interceptions, but he makes plays like with the blitz packages and the run packages and everything. So you will want that, and his, yeah. he doesn't have an injury history like that. So, yeah, we need about, consistency I, this year, Rumble. We got to get the ring. I know, you know, this is stop fooling around with this stuff, man. We should, God, that's so close last year, but anyway, we yeah. should have had it last year. If we would have had it last year, we, you know, they would have been, they would have. I, I don't know what they probably would have did after, you know, we got the ring. They probably would have been more aggressive, relaxed, other oh, trades oh. and stuff, probably. Yeah. All right, so just because uh, you know the window is only so big. Uh, you got three seasons, basically, if you got a good team. What you going to do? It's, I'm scared to ask you, Stevie. What you going to do with KB? KB going to stay. KB, right. KB is staying on his team. That, KB is being a 49er for life. I don't care what anybody says. Yes. I, I was mad you. when, you know, everybody, I, I, was, I was part of the crowd. I was mad when he kept dropping all the balls in Seattle. But he's working his ass off this offseason rumble. He is serious. You can see it. And I, I, that's determination right there. It is. That, that, I, I love that. So, going for yeah. it. Yeah. So right, if, he's, if he's if he's going to do that, all he does is catch his first down as a touchdown. So I can't get mad at that. Uh, 
Stevie, good stuff. I knew I'd enjoy that. Tell you what, I'm going to go, and if you get a chance, look for you tomorrow, okay? All right, Rumble. All right, fam. Good night, Stevie. All right. And see, and I'm looking at Roy Boy. Rams will finish last. In, you know how many people have, have, have already designated Rams to finish in the basement? I can't wait to see the season unfold. Sharon! Hello, Rombo. <laughs> Sharon, how are you doing? We've not heard from you in a few. I'm a few, uh... good, just dealing with the kitties. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Do not fail them. Mm-hmm. Well, Sharon, no. <laughs> we're, trying, we're trying to figure out who, to, who can we sacrifice and you know as as growing close to all these people as we have down to the past few years this is such a hard thing to look at you know you look at Kwaski and K1 and DJ and Sherm Juice these guys contracts are all up and these guys got to get paid uh Trent Williams and 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 uh, uh, our, our, our premier tight end, George Kittle. I don't even put them on the list. I'm saying they're going to get signed. Everybody beyond that, you got about three or more people. Sarah, where are you going to make your – who are you keeping? Oh, that's tough. Um, I would say – I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I know, right? Because that's what I, think I did. What they're trying to, I think what they're trying to do – is build a younger team. So yeah. I think they want nothing but young people with speed. And it's and, like and, and, and is contracts. not really that fast enough that I've seen last season he was kind of <laughs> slow. Twice. I like Sherm, but I think he should be the one to go. Ah! Uh, but Sherm, he still was all pro last year. Or made the pro yeah, I know he was all pro and everything, but I'm thinking they're going to be looking at the speed wise and but, but who do you replace him with? Stuff and how... Think about that for a moment. Um... Who do you replace him with? Hmm. You let me help you out with this. I would put Mosley. Mosley just strikes yeah, me as Mosley. a get it. Done guy. He makes a mistake here and there, but he's people gotta realize Mosley's not been in the league that good. long. He's good, but yes. he does. So I would put him in Sherm's spot and and uh get rid of Sherm because nobody okay. can play it better than Mosley. But who's on the other side though? You got El- you got Witherspoon. We're hoping Tim Harris can come around. We've got to go find another guy. We we, we gotta wait till next year's draft that we could pick out a premier cornerback that may fail. It's a real scary situation. You just hope Sherm is out there in a wheelchair playing. It is scary, and it is tough. <laughs> <laughs> we've, um, had, we've had bad I quarterbacks think, before, Sharon. I don't want another one. Oh! Right? I think Witherspoon may have a breakout year this year because, you know, he, Please, he didn't really spoon. do too good last year. But oh. I feel like he may have a good year this year because he knows what he's done last year. So I, I think he's going to step up. I wish. He showed he can. Mm-hmm. I, nobody knows. Yeah, he Maybe it's he's hurt. It. He looked good the first few weeks. Uh, and if not, let's trade him. We could trade him and we can trade Pettis. Let's get rid of him if they don't step up. Okay, Sharon, I'm, you be a GM, GM of another team. I'm calling you from the 49ers. Hi, Sharon. Listen, I got a deal for you you might be interested in. Uh, I'm looking to move a killer with a spoon. I'm looking to move a color with a spoon now. You've got some draft picks. I know you got about two or three second round picks and a fourth round pick and there are two. You uh you thinking uh Spoon might fit into your what you'd like to do? And then what are you gonna say? Oh well let's go ahead and make that deal. Let's trade it with a spoon. And then if you want to, we can throw in Dante Pettis. Like let's make a deal for both of them. Hey, you know, Sharon, I hope I hope John can catch you at some company. You answer the phone. We're going to send you in undercover and see if you can sit in the GM's <laughs> office and make that right? deal while he's not there. We'll, we'll set it up mm-hmm. so John calls after we get a signal from you. Okay, guys, I'm in. <laughs> All in. But I, I think it is going to be a hard choice, but I think they're going to keep Kittle. They're going to keep who's... Uh, Trent Williams. Juice check. Trent yeah, Williams. 
Kwan Mosley, um, KB. Um, I'm not too sure. It's I'm tough. not too sure about Brumskill. Yeah, but I... we'll see what they do. But it's going to be a tough choice for the front office. But whatever they do, they're going to get it right, and they they know what they're going to do. But I put all my trust in them. They haven't doubted me in all these years. I'm a Niner fan, so mm. I'm with them. <laughs> well, it's going to be rough. I, I this I I, I don't even gonna this be time next year. It's going to be rough to see some go and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, this time next year we're going to be shaking because we don't want this window to close yeah. like it did on some other teams. You know, that's what really worries right. me because mm-hmm. we'd be laughing and pointing uh, at the Rams. And who's afraid of Cam Newton? Nobody's afraid of Cam Newton. He's all no, washed up. I was up. joking. Newton's, he'll come out there and get hurt I like five him, But I'm just saying, him and Aaron are all washed up. They just need to retire and go sit down somewhere. <laughs> yeah. That's a dude. Rogers, good point. He needs a better team. So yeah, he do. Yeah, his, mm-hmm, the Packers are not. They could just retire in college and watch football from their house. Yeah, yeah, and they should. You know, why go mm-hmm. out looking bad? Just leave sooner. Uh, like they men. just want us to run over them again, like we did last year. I know, right? I look forward to that. How that many so times are we going to take Aaron Rodgers down? <laughs> And that face, I love when Aaron walks off the field. He walks off the field always looking back on the field. <laughs> like, what the heck happened? Right? Like, man, they just did it to me again. <laughs> oh, nobody, no. nobody can get sacked like Rodgers. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, right? Oh, but God, I, I think, you know, this year is going to be a good year. Hopefully we'll have football. I heard there might be some fans in the stands. So that'll be yes. a good thing. They're gonna they're gonna tarp the first mm-hmm. six or six, six to eight rows. Use that for hey, advertising. Whatever they gotta do, yeah. let's do it. <laughs> I know, right? Because I thought we were gonna have to be playing mm-hmm. to just Papa, Greg Papa, providing all the noise. It's oh man, Papa. Right? Yeah, I need some people out there now. Come on, I gotta let people in. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. Sharon, good stuff as yeah. usual. And we're gonna set you up. We're gonna we're gonna Mission Impossible teams gonna come over. I, I would and set love up. to go undercover. Yes, let's figure out how we can get you into a GM's office, the team we want exactly. most. Exactly. Yeah. Be like whispering John Lynch is here. Hey, we got a 49er fan, you know, like <laughs> I would right, love Sarah. it. You have a great All right, night. Rumble, you have a good night. Right. You too. Bye-bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Will Dollar Bill Will Wombo, what's up? Oh, Will, man, I've been thinking about this for a long time, but I just decided tonight to ask everybody else. You know, Will, ain't going to be all these fun names we like this year. It's going to be especially heartbreaking next year, provided we get to that Super Bowl and win it, and we have to say, man, this was a good team. Now who we get to keep? Will, man, some some really seriously good players are on that top ten list. Will, how you going to do? Well, first off, you got to start off with your core players. Core players are your play, your cornerstone players that you that, that you need to depend on. So I'm not good with the numbers. I don't know nothing about the cap, but this is how I would do it. You got to keep Juice. At 21 personnel in that offense, you got to keep Juice set because he's the most important part, the most important piece to that running game. Right. You got to keep Juice. There's you got to keep Juice. Yeah. Juan Williams. Quan Williams has been not, is is listed as the best nickel corner in the league right now. And with you good gotta reason. keep him as well. Boy, that boy is you gotta good. Keep him. That's two. You gotta keep him. That's two. Sherman, I with that defensive line we got, Sherman, Sherman is Sherman, bro. I mean, you can't take nothing from Sherman. It's from from him being from Seattle to now, you can't take you can't take his credentials from him. That dude is gonna always be good. He uh, he's up in the age and he's slowing down, but he made plays last season. Let's not forget. Let's not forget that he didn't like, that he made plays. He made plays now. Come on now. He made a many. Then the quarterbacks are scared to throw to their side. That's an advantage to have on your team. So Sherman needs to stay. He needs to stay, he, and he needs to sign at least two more years. Give him two more years because that D line is gonna help that secondary. Mm-hmm. Whoever's back there in the secondary, that mm-hmm. D line is gonna help. Mm-hmm. So you got to you got to keep you got to keep Sherman, man. DJ Jones. That's three. Uh, DJ Jones. DJ Jones is a phenomenal run stopper. 
for it. I, I would love for I would love for them to keep him as well, as, and also Ronald Blair. That's fine. Ronald Blair, he he's like he's like he's like one of those players. He's like one of them Golden State players that comes off the bench and performs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know he comes off the bench and he and, and, and he creates havoc and he make big plays. You know, so I mean those 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 are guys I would want to keep, man. Uh, because I, 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 Juice, man, we need Juice for that running game, and we need Kawan for that slot. You know, so those those are key guys. I would I would I would keep. Now to the people, yeah. so now to, right. now to the people for the for the people who need their ass to go. This is the part I'm ready to talk about. <laughs> Solomon Thomas, his ass needs to go. He's everybody's go-to guy. <laughs> he needs to go. I mean, he, he he ain't nobody, he ain't nobody but a bust. Everybody time I all he he made for a few flashes last season, man, whatever that man. Nine million I seen dollars. A clip the, I seen a clip today. I seen a clip today on social media when they showed the Buccaneers in the four nine playing. I, they they showed him one particular play, and the offensive line teed off on Solomon Thomas, and Solomon Thomas went seven yards back. DJ Jones bust through the line. He made the running back shift to the to the help. And everybody else rattled up the tackle of the dude, and then here comes Solomon Thomas and comes comes back into play and finish and finishes up on attack. Well, that ain't that don't impress me. No, you need to that. come. You need to come off the block and make the play right then. You need to get pushed back and then then come back and, and help the guy tackle. You need to initiate the tackle. He, he's soft, man. He weak. The dude is weak. I mean, he works so no hard. Hope. His footwork. Well, I don't understand. He's fast. Divorce Buckner said the fastest guy at the line is Solomon Thomas. Where? Why is it then? Can't you take advantage of that speed, Solomon? I don't understand. He, he, what? He weak. He weak. And he's short. Weak, weak, short. And he, I, I, I just, he, he ever done nothing. He ever done nothing. He needs to go. Mm. Akello Weatherspoon. Akello Weatherspoon. Oh my God! You should have been gone. <laughs> you should. I, I, I don't know when you should have been. You should have been gone, gone. Because you, he's, he's nothing. He ain't gonna amount to nothing. Mosley oh. is gonna take that spot in this this, yeah, this uh, training I camp. Mark my words to, to everybody out there in Nana Land. Mosley is gonna take this man's spot. It's a wrap of spoon. Every time spoon, every time the ball is thrown to spoon side, spoon good with sticking to the receiver, but when the ball comes, he doesn't he doesn't attack the ball. He's not a dog in a, in attacking the ball. D D D D DK Metcalf caught on that man two times for T D. Took him out. Stephon Diggs caught on him in the in the uh, divisional game. In an embarrassing him out. fashion. Yeah. Weatherspoon, Brandon Cook, he's man, I'm Rumbo, Weatherspoon was hitting so no, close. Wait, wait a minute, let me the, any, any the, boy got confused. Any boy he wasn't talking about right. DJ Jones, he was talking about Solomon Thomas being too short. <laughs> Go yeah. ahead. And so and, and Weatherspoon was so close to Brandon Cook in the rain game. Somebody should have told Weatherspoon to back up. You're not so social distant. He was so close <laughs> to uh, Brandon Cook. He was so close to Brandon Cook in that end zone, golf to the ball, and the steal, and Cook still caught it. Yeah. How can you say shoulder pad to shoulder pad with Brandon Cook in the in the ball still hit him in his hand to catch the touchdown? Yes, yeah, he's weak. He ain't. He's not a dog, man. He's not a dog yes. at all. And also, Spoon is a. Uh, he's strictly as. I, I spoon a zone. Where is he strongest? Is he a man cover better? I mean, I don't understand. I don't know why he gets fried like that. Yeah, spoon. I, I don't understand. Well, anyway, he, he's good. He, he's good. He's good on the bench defense. That was good. <laughs> we're we're out of time. So, I'm gonna look for you tomorrow right, night, more, fam. I like your choices. All right. Before before I go, I got one more play. Tart. I uh, Tart Tart played good last season, but. I mean, if 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 Jamal Adams is saying he want to, you know, he want to come to a team that's a contender to where he can he can finish out his rookie contract, I will go ahead and do it. I I mean, if he want to play, if he want to go to a contender where he can play out his last two years rookie rookie contract, deal, I would do it because you, you can use him for two two years, and then by the time it comes to a deal, you may have the money to sign. Him. Mm-hmm. I, I I would go ahead. And, I mean, yeah, if, yeah. if they don't do it, that's fine. I'm okay with Tar because the way Tar played last season. But if you, <laughs> but if it, if, it, well, Joe, if there's a hey, chance Jay. he gets tomorrow, I'll go ahead and do it, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, John. Ever, ever since John, ever since John Lynch sent Defoe to to another team, they didn't got they didn't got bold behind it. Yeah, so it's gonna be 
it's gonna be some it's gonna be some uh mouth droppers uh later on because yeah. John and John Lynch is getting he's making bold moves. And and he will continue to do so. So yeah. All right, yeah. Will. All right, Vim. I'm gonna see you tomorrow Look. night. All right, Rumble man. All right, Vim. Take it easy, man. You too. All right. Oh, the choices, the choices. Five seven oh area code. Hello. Bye. Yo, Rombo. Yes, and who is this? What's up? This is Trey. First uh, long-time listener, first-time caller. What? You, did you say it was Trey? Yeah. T-R-E-Y, Trey. Yes, sir. All right. All right, so we got we got Always two Trey's now. <laughs> but oh, Trey cool. From, Hell yeah. But Trey, where are you from? I'm from uh, uh, Wilkes-Barre, Scranton area, Pennsylvania. All right, so, so we got Trey from VA, and now we got Trey from PA. All right. <laughs> yeah, rep, right. repping the Niners in PA. All right. Hi, right, Trey. Well, Trey, have you seen the subject matter tonight? We're, uh, we're trying yeah, to figure definitely. out. We got, a lot of, we got a lot of free agents coming up next year. So this thing about Super Bowl or bust this year is more serious than people even know. Uh, come next yeah. year, we're going to have to start reducing talents. Who are you going to try to keep and who are you going to let go? What are you, what are you thinking on that? All right. So, uh, like the last caller said, I don't know. I'm not really, like, too uh, keen to the, the cap numbers, like, where we're going to be at with that mm, next year. So, true. Um, I don't know, like, I don't know, like, what the, uh, what the magic number is going to be of how many guys we're going to keep. But, uh, but, but, but I tell you something. Just to, off, like, a, just, but just to help you get started on that, remember, George yeah. Kittle and Trent Williams – are going to cost a lot of money. You're going to yeah, have exactly. to do something with them. And after that, you know, you go from there. But, yeah, it's rough. But go ahead. Yeah. So I'll start, actually, with them. Uh, I honestly think, I mean, obviously Kittle is staying. He's, you know, I think if Niners fans had their, uh, you know, got their wish, he'd be a Niner for life. But, oh, uh, God, yeah. Right. Um, we got to start with him. He's just he's just so versatile. He could do anything. He's a leader, a uh, great locker room guy. He just. I just think he embodies what, you know, what uh, what Kyle and John are looking for uh, with this team. But uh, honestly, you know, again, I don't know the numbers, but here's the thing: I think we need to keep Trent if we can. Um, you know, I think it's going to be Williams, interesting yeah. to see how he plays this year. Wait, wait, are you talking about Trent, but, uh, Trent you know, Williams or Trent? Uh, our, our, oh yeah, 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 no, Trent Williams. Yeah, sorry about okay. that. I forgot. I forgot. We got, uh, we got I Taylor. forgot Taylor's on the on the yeah. block too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll get to him, but. Uh, yeah, I think we need to keep Williams if we can. Um, you know, he's a guy who he's at a position where, you know, y- you can't take risks at, at, at tackle. You know, especially at left tackle, you can't. Well, ain't that the truth? You know, if you whiff on a guy in a draft, well, you know, that could set you back a couple of years. You know what yeah, I mean? So, get your quarterback you know, I think killed. he's got. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, you know, I think he him sitting out. I think that's a good thing for us. You know, he's got a little more tread on the tires. Uh, and I just think that, you know, he could be a leader for that offensive line for a couple mm. of years. Um, so, again, I don't know, you know, maybe you know, maybe the numbers won't work out, but I think he's a guy that, you know, especially if he plays well this year, I just think he'll be hard to, uh, you know, he'll, he'll be hard to get rid of. Mm. Um, this, I think Juice Check, he's obviously, he, Juice has to stay. Um, you know, just what he does with the run game. Uh, he's also just, just such a smart player, you know what I mean? Uh, I think he's, you know, he, he makes everybody better around mm. him. He's got, he's got um, the wide receiver option. He's a guy. Deuce is that guy that stings the team all of a sudden when they were working on whomever else is killing him. All of a sudden, Deuce is like this big dagger that sticks it right in your heart. Here he's wide open. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jimmy hits a boom. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what was that, that? The Pittsburgh game this past year, right? Yeah. He had that. Didn't he have that big catch in like late in the game? Yeah, and, and, and it was uh, contested. I think that's exactly I mean, what you were talking about. Yeah, Juice is amazing with that. He'll all of a sudden he come just, out of nowhere think, and make those yeah, plays. Yeah, exactly. It's almost like, okay, you know, uh, it's like, yeah, we know he's there, but, you know, he's just going to stick around and block, and then, boom, yeah. they send him out, and he hits you for 40 yards. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's the nature of um, Kyle Shannon's offense. See, it's else? just scary. Yeah. Um, obviously, we got some uh, – we got some decisions to make at corner. Um, <laughs> you know, I've been hearing I've been hearing people talk about Sherman with the speed issues, but here's the thing. You know, I was just reading. Um, I I think he's a guy that if we were to keep him, 
that he's a guy that's going to make that that shift to safety eventually. Um, yeah. I don't know your thoughts on that, but no, I, I I like that idea. I just wonder Sherm needs to get a little heavier, I guess, because I think he's. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to play center field. Dub's already out yeah. there. Is he going to play the box? Yeah. This way, you can. I guess you can let Kwaski go, and you, hey, you let Kwaski yeah, that's, go. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm saying. That I think Sherm people with a the lot box? of people... Sherm probably doesn't mind yeah. beefing up a little bit. No, and he's such a cerebral player. You know what I mean? He's a, uh, you know, I think he's just perfect for that role, that safety role where, you, you know, got a good point. He's, he's you get he you could, let Kwaski could, uh, go, and you keep Sherm. Yeah. And in the short short passing game, Sherm's probably not bad. You, you might you might have something there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then that that might even be able to free up to you know keep Mosley and Witherspoon. You know, it, it, let's say they both play well. I, if if it came down to one of those guys, where I'm at right now, I, I think I would prefer Mosley. I know. Be, <laughs> I want to hear somebody he's a say little younger. between the two. I'll keep Spoon. I want. I'm waiting for somebody to say that. Nobody's <laughs> going to say that. So yeah. But go ahead, Trey. Maybe, maybe if Spoon, maybe if Spoon calls himself, maybe he'll. Maybe that's. Maybe he'll say it. But. Um, <laughs> uh, no, but I, I, I like Mosley. Uh, you talked about him being a grinder. He, he's just, oh, you know, and he's tough. young and he's, he's got something to prove. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but um, let me just see. I'll write off a couple more here. I don't know. Coleman is one where I'm, I'm on the fence about Kev. I don't know. He's, uh, you know, we yeah. have we have Raheem. You know, they, we have, in fact, you know, that running back room, you could just skip that. How about yeah. K1 Williams? Because the running back room is just, the 49ers are going to have running backs no matter what it seems. But I, but K1 yeah, Williams, exactly. how do you feel about him? DJ Jones, because we're almost. Oh out of yeah, time. yeah, I, yeah, I, I forgot about him. Okay, yeah. Um, see, there's so many. It's it's hard to keep tabs on. No, it's scary. But, um, <laughs> um, now he's actually one. I think we definitely need to we need to make a, a priority to keep him. Uh, I think you know we were talking about yeah K1. Uh, yeah. He's just. I mean, when it comes to slot corner, he's just yeah, he's, he's just at the top in the league. Nails. Um, I mean, and, you, you uh, he just uh, he just brings that veteran presence. Oh god! You figure in Tyler Lockett, right? In Kansas, in uh, in with the yeah. Hawks, he took him out. I forgot yeah. Lockett was even in the game until all of a sudden he made one play. Mm-hmm. Said, Whoa! Where's Lockett been? Yeah, exactly. Oh, he got mm-hmm. KY. <laughs> but mm-hmm. it's, yep. Trey, we got to go. Good stuff, Trey. Get uh, right, we'll be back tomorrow night if yeah, you get a yeah. chance. All right. Yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back. Yeah, right. it was good, it was good talking to you, Rombo. Thanks. Trey. Have a good one. Appreciate you, fam. Have yep. a good night. That's Trey from PA. We got VA and PA now. Hey, and here's Johnny. Thanks, Johnny. He says, uh, Newton is signed with the Patriots. Thoughts? You want to hear my thoughts? <laughs> uh, he says, I think nothing of it, but I want to see your take on it. I think that it's going to be a fail. Is Cam doesn't know it, but he's actually done. Uh, he got two or three concussions there he probably can't need. But I do hope he makes it. I want to see Cam. One thing that I Full entertainment with Cam is after the game when Cam loses, there's nothing more funny than him in the press conference. <laughs> Cam is such a child, he can't take losing. He sits there and he's got his, his face is all frowned up and he's wearing something that's always just, you, you know, you're paying attention to what he's wearing. And then one report will finally say, uh, Cam, and that third quarter play, was that a decision you'd like to take back? <sighs> Next question, please. <laughs> That's great. Kim. Hey, Justin. Oh, Just, no. Just, Wait a minute. Here comes Trez. Wait, Trez, Justin. Justin, no, Justin. Oh, whoa, whoa. Thanks. Wait, 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 I'm wait, at Justin. work, and I got, I got one minute to talk. And I okay, got to go say ahead. this real quick, and I'm gone for the night. Oh, right. no. Look at that. You don't need a break, though. AB, <laughs> get Jamal Adams in here. Sign <laughs> AB. And we went in the Super Bowl. <laughs> hey, I don't want to hear nothing else from nobody tonight because, look, let me tell you something. Yeah. We need to quit stop being that team to sit back saying, hey, man, we could have signed him, but we didn't, though. <laughs> or we should have got him, but we didn't, though. <laughs> we good with what we got. No, we're not. You ain't never good with what you got. You can always improve the team. Always. So quit sitting back talking about we good with what we got. And let the bombs on the team go. Okay, go. I'm all for it. Let these there bombs go and yeah. replace them with some quality players. Look, Rumble, our wonders now. We got to take advantage of it, man. 
We got to take advantage of it. No argument. So look at here. While we while we got while we got at least a, a, a wrap on everything for at least two years, we can make a run, you know, and then worry about the consequences a little later. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? All right. We got one of the best in the business that know how to work the numbers, Rumbo. And look here, TNT out of here, man. That's all <laughs> I got for tonight, Rumbo. And look, Mel, Mel, the next time you say I'm crazy for what I say about going to get A.B., let me tell you something about y'all and A.B. Everybody deserves a second chance. Everybody does. Hey. And that man deserves a second chance, and I believe he come on this team, he'll be all right. I'm going, Rumbo. Y'all talk about it and figure it out. All right. Y'all say it. Bring A.B. in here and bring Jamal Adams, too. I don't care. Let's get it done. I'm gone. <laughs> Night, Tress. Man, on 15 yards. Tress, that's not that's not a second chance. That's that's his third time. <laughs> oh my God. Tress has spoken as he walks back to the, the underneath the, the, the jumbotron and into the locker room, throwing kisses at the audience as he as he walks away. <laughs> God. I don't know. He's AB. I just, you know, it just worries me. Oh, hey, Justin, thanks, man. He says, I'm keeping with a spoon. Sack down. Represent. <laughs> what with a spoon? He's got to change it. Solomon Thomas and, and Nikella with a spoon. And of course, Dante Pettis are going to be the whipping boys ooh, of 2020 if they don't come up. And Traz. Remember, Traz is the same guy that that, that we had a, a club started that offered Sol- Solomon T was the man. See, so I, he, Traz, I'm telling you, man, Solomon T's got to come through this year. He's got to come through this year. It's it. The 49ers already said we're not picking up his fifth-year option. I think he's going to be cap casualty. I be. Rambo, Rambo, <laughs> my check, my check. How he sound tonight? Oh, he sounded good. I be. Well, I be. My man, my man. Tell you, I be. You know, this is the thing, man. We 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 got to make some cuts next year. We're not cuts, but just <laughs> gotta let some people walk. Or ooh, yeah, got a lot, be. a lot of. I just a lot of situations. You know what I be? Here's another remedy. I just realized you don't cut these guys. You trade them at the midseason deadline. Akello could be traded mm-hmm. at, the, at the midseason deadline if he doesn't feel like playing. Solomon T. We'll mm-hmm. take a six round pick. You know, uh, Dante Pettis. We'll take your twenty twenty two fourth round pick. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you talking about trading some there. some of yeah. these guys this year? I'm yeah. these guys this year because I got these. I got a feeling they're not gonna they're not gonna cut these guys because they were too drafted too high. Solomon T a first round pick, Dante Pettis a second round pick. Um, what else did I mention? Akello Witherspoon second or third round was Akello third round pick. He was high. See, we you can't be throwing your money in the garbage like that. So you know you got to do something. You got to try to get something for him. Fort Niners might do that IB before yeah. the season even starts. But what are you thinking though? What are you gonna do? Uh, I, don't, I don't. That's kind of dramatic, Rambo. I don't know. <laughs> that we, we got what next next year? We got what 30, 31, 31 uh, free agents next year or something 35, like that. Thirty five, thirty five, and twenty seven are unrestricted. And tonight we trying to bring back only ten of them, right? <laughs> Man, yeah. you know Rough. what, Rambo, uh, realistically, you know, uh, with that many free agents uh, next year, you know, some of some of these players ain't coming back. Uh, we're not okay. going to be able to get compensation for some of these players because in order to build a, a successful franchise, it costs money. It, it takes time. It's a process. You got to make some wrong decisions. You got to you got to you got to go through the growing pains. You got to learn who your players are. You got to learn what loyalty is, and you got to learn, uh, what, you know, who, who's your business, who's your business partners in this game, and that's how you build a super a Super Bowl franchise. You you don't do it just because Kyle Shanahan's Mike Shanahan's son. You know what I'm saying? You True. don't do it because you don't do it because Robert Sala sat over there and and and, and learned from a, a winning uh, a winning uh, co- uh, coach. You know what I'm saying? You you mm. do it through experience. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah, honestly, 
that's what our first two seasons taught us because we went True. uh what uh six six and ten and 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 uh what two two and fourteen yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah. so and 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 you know realistically i mean i know i'm one of those guys who who laughed and joked about brian hoyer but <laughs> uh through pre, through 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 preseason and in, in the first few games i mean that first game against the rams shit we thought we thought Brian Hoyer might hit the hit the switch sometime some, some somewhere in that season and he you know what I'm saying? He did look so, good in that, didn't he? Yeah, I, that was a good well, game. Well, he had Hoyer. potential. He had, he he's a he he's an NFL uh quarterback who who had who carried a good skill set. You know what I'm saying? And we've proven that with the right coaches, we can take athletes with the with the good skill set and turn them into George Kittle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean <clears throat> We we got a lot of guys that that we realistically need to bring back. I've heard only one caller tonight say that we need to bring back Juice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've ha- haven't heard anybody say anything about Jeff Wilson. You know, I, I, and we laugh about players like Ben Garland, but in, I mean, what last year we if we didn't have Ben Garland, we ben did, we wouldn't have gotten to the Super Bowl. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, uh, but I, mean, I don't those, know as far as. Are- those guys aren't going to be real expensive. I think that's what we're thinking there. Um, right. A couple right. of people have actually mentioned I don't mentioned think Blair's going to be expensive. I don't think no. Blair will be expensive. No, he's he, he's, a, he's a humble guy. But, uh, yeah, because when you look at DJ Jones, some of these guys, as I mentioned earlier, Kwan Williams, these guys, Kwan's not on his first contract, though. Is Kwan Williams finishing up? A, no, he's not. that's not a rookie deal he's on, is it? No, no, he, he, he. I mean, Kayvon is is a player that um, I don't think we'll have to bargain with too much, just because the, the team. I don't think his teammates are willing to let him go. He is, he is sharp, and he is the mm-hmm. the best uh, uh, slot cornerback in the game. I mean, um, and you know, he he's gonna be probably about six and a half. Uh, he's probably gonna be about uh, what we paid Jimmy Ward. Realistically, because he deserves it. He would be it, worth that, and we he want is definitely at least yeah. that. How about Mosley? And, and 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 we want to keep him. Mosley, I man, I, I'm hoping we we bring Mosley back for a three year deal as well. Uh, and and you know, what would you, what would you sign I, him? What would you sign I, him I, for? I would, I would pay Mosley anywhere up to eight million. You know what I'm saying? And I think this year, that's based on this year. I mean, uh, obviously, if he doesn't have a great year this year, then he, he, his his numbers would drop down to like six and a half. But before I go into that, because you know, sometimes I have too much tea and I lose my thoughts. And I, I this is what I heard going back to um, what, what was that the uh, uh, you know the franchise thing that that, that we had mm. uh, the team had the other day. Mm-hmm. When we, when 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 Papa was talking to uh, Kyle Shanahan, he said that the reason why, and I've never heard this. I've never heard nobody, as far as podcasts or anybody, say anything about this about KB. He said, and this is Kyle Shanahan, that the reason why, uh, well, yeah, he said the reason why KB had a slow start in 2018 was because. KB had to go through the same uh, scholastic shit that uh, uh, Solomon T did oh, yeah. because I of graduating. Yeah. So he didn't he didn't learn. So that's why KB didn't learn the you know what I'm saying learn the plays his, like his fast as have. Exactly, but we yeah. don't think like that. We 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 just like oh man he, he missed this or he missed, but it made sense. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Watch it's on the quarter made, system. The the NFL. Uh, right. They they ended that. Uh, players don't have to do that anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can you can leave when you uh, finish your finals. Okay, okay. Well, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, Sally T, he's got to step up, but I, I think uh, <laughs> that has a little bit to do with his yeah. with his uh, yeah. with his situation as well. They moved yeah. him around a little bit, so he's got to he's got to do something. But I, I just want to be clear: I'm I'm not the Sally T advocate of the show here. I <laughs> I do support him. I but do yeah. support him. I want to stick, you know what I'm saying? But, but I don't want to get thrown in that category. <laughs> has been shaken. I mean, we got to go. I mean, I'll look for you tomorrow night, fam. All right. All right. My man, I appreciate it. Monday Night Raw, I'll be you. here. Thanks, Abby. Have a good All night, right. fam. Say hi to the kids. Have a good one. You too. All right. You know All it. Right.
All right. Oh man, I know. I, I you know, it's gonna be funny because we, I, the three whipping boys, as I mentioned, Solomon T, uh, Dante Pettis, and of course Keller Witherspoon. It's gonna be interesting to see what they look like this year because everything we're talking about, they're hearing it. You know, if even if it's not from us, they're hearing it from other people. Anybody they come in contact with, oh, here you come, man. I'm scared for you to be. I, I can't be seen with you, man. How come, dude? Everybody's saying things about you. It, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you you gonna be like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dion! <laughs> Ron Bo, what's going on? D, I'm doing all right. D, would you be seated at a restaurant sitting up having dinner with Solomon T and, and Spoon and Dante all at the same table? <laughs> Somebody come over to the table and ask you, hey, there they are, the 49ers wannabes. And who is this guy? Man, look, my name is Dion. They just wanted me to come out tonight with them. And asked me if I wanted to join him for dinner. I won this as a surprise. <laughs> you know what? I didn't even, I didn't even go to you. I, well, I, I'd go to dinner with <laughs> Solomon. I'd go to dinner with Akello. Yeah. I'm not going to dinner with Dante Pettis. After any stretch of imagination. No, thank you. I will, I will, I will be fine. I don't care if you talk about the at the center. Nope, I don't want to go to dinner with you. It's not going to bring your cat. I'm not that person. I don't care for cats. So, no, no. Uh, Unless you're going to bring that dog to the field, yeah, I have got, no reason. We, we get a time up outside. Well, D, get get on this, man. I mean, I mean, you got some cuts to make. Not some cuts, but you got some guys you're going to lose next year. Uh, who's on your list of guys you're going to keep? Or vice, vice versa. Uh, I mean, you reverse it if you want. Well, we, we got some real hard choices to make next year, man. We have a ton of free agents. And we got a lot of guys that we cannot keep just due to money constraints. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, if I've heard Dre say it a few times, we'll have probably around 60 mil uh, in cash space, somewhere around that much. Mm. Uh, I don't have the exact numbers. But I can tell you right now, from the O-line, the, the two top two people you got to keep are Trent Williams and Daniel Brunskill. You're not going to just trade those picks for Trent Williams and then just let him walk and go get paid somewhere else. You've got to mm. pay that man because you want Jimmy G's blind side protected, you know, for a very long time. Agreed. And then at the same time, you take on your brunt school and you pay him because he's too versatile to give up. Like, he can play guard, he can play tackle, I'm pretty sure he could probably play center if he needed to. And he, like, and he's he does too versatile well. To yes. And then we all, to be honest with you, Ross Dwelly and George Kittle are free agents next year from a technical standpoint. If we don't get Kittle signed, he may be a restricted free agent. We may franchise tag him, but it does, he's still technically a free agent. Nobody has said anything about that. Mm. So we've got to get we've got to get George Kittle signed. Um, I am still sixteen mil is my max. If that man won twenty million dollars, then you know what? Uh, hey, tagging, trading, get a first round pick for him and move on. I love George Kittle, but it's at some point. He has to start telling his agent, look, back off, man. You're asking for too much. You're going to cripple the team, and we need to be able to keep core players like myself, and we can't do that if I didn't ate up all the cap space, if I didn't ate up all the money. Like, he has to at some point be able to tell his agent because anytime anybody talks to him about his contract, if you've ever seen him in post-game interviews, he will automatically defer to his agent. He speaks right. nothing about it, mm -hmm. period. But – um. Moving on, yes, you want to keep juice, but at last time I told you, I believe they drafted Josh Hokett to be Juice's replacement mm. if he can pick up the offense enough. If Hokett picks it up and he's he can learn all the things he can suck up from Juice and they can continue to just teach him and show him film and say, hey, look at what he does. This is how you work. He works with him in the offseason, whatever he does, then they will let Juice walk because they know Juice will require more money. Now, I'm not saying that none of these players deserve to get paid. I want them all to get paid. But we don't have that kind of money, nor do we have that kind of cap space. Um, as far as our defensive backs, um, to be honest with you, I'm going to key in on one person that nobody has really said, and that's Jason Verrett. If Verrett, by some God-given chance, stays healthy, I forgot all about if he him. does, if he, if he stays healthy, you will watch Uncle Sherm walk. 
And it's not because we don't like Richard Sherman. It's not because we don't want to pay Richard Sherman. It's because Jason Verrett's going to be cheaper, younger, and better. Hey, yeah, you know, Gia, just, just to want to piggyback on that real quick. It was rumored that mm-hmm. if Verrett would have panned out, Sherm was actually going to be excused last year. Possibly, just the rumor yeah. You got to think about it. Just, it makes sense. Am I going to pay you almost $10 million or I'm going to pay him – one million and get you know and get the same if not better production. It's not it just it, from a number standpoint. It just makes sense. It just makes sense. You got to get Ronald. Blue. You want to keep DJ Jones. Um, I'm uh, for me, Jet McKinnon and Kevin Coleman can walk. I'm not worried about either one of them leaving. Mm. Um, TC deserves to be paid because he is still a great running back. He's a viable dual threat running back if you use him in the run game in the pass game. Um, and then McKinnon, like I said, for me, once again, I stick to my story. If the man shows up and shows out, great. Mm. Proud of him. Good job. Mm. If he get injured again, it was proven, and you can't tell me I'm wrong. He's been no, here two no, years. No. In fact, I just, I just want to add. Can tell me that. No, 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 I just want to add to that. You know, if it does come to push, come to shove, that is the one room you can definitely cut fat without even being worried. And I don't know about Jet, but I know that there's several guys in there right now. Um, you could, you know, you don't have to have TC. We're yeah, the, the, yeah, the, we're so deep in there, man. I mean, if you got to think about it, if TC and Jet McKinnon walk, you still have Raheem there. You still have Jeff Wilson Jr. And those two you know kids I mean? they just brought in, the undrafted yeah. kids. There, Bobby, yeah, Bobby Turner can make. Head. If you got talent, he'll make you into a running back. I can tell you this, if you see Jet and you see TC walk, watch Jermichael Hasty randomly be inserted into the starting lineup. And you what's know that why? Because he's the prototypical Kyle Jermichael Hasty. He's the prototypical Kyle Shanahan running back. Yeah, he and they does got two. Uh, is yeah. Savon or yeah, something I'm, like that? Yeah. 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 I, I, I watched him, but, too. Yeah. But I, I'm telling you, it, it's – the guys, it, we're not going to be able to keep everybody, but I'm going to say you've got to keep Kwan because he's the best slot corner in the game. Mm. If Verrett works out, you, you, you'll probably see um, Uncle Sherm walk because they'll go with Verrett because he's a younger, cheaper option. Right. Akello, I'm mm. sorry, unless you can get up with mental hurdles, there's no need for you to be here. Mm. Um, Emmanuel, we should be able to keep him. But, yeah. see, these are guys, guys from Miami are going to be cost-effective. Mosley's going to be cheap. Uh, Verant's going to yeah. be cheap. <clears throat> K1 may cost us some money, yeah. but it's warranted. I mean, you got to pay that man for the job that he does. You don't uh-huh. pay the number one nickel corner in the league, Trump chain. Yeah. You're That's not going to come in like this. Somebody else will. K-Wan, can you- yeah, we. Yeah. We ran out of time. We got we got to get together and get you a one on one so we get some more time for you. But <laughs> well, well, let's go ahead and see you tomorrow night if you get a shot. All right. Well, I'll, be, I'll be there on Raw. Thank you for the platform. Thank you for what you do. Thanks, and uh, go now. Hey, Daddy. See Dion Johnson's name and then click on him. Dion's rolling content constantly as well. All right, D. Have a good night, fam. Good night, Ruben. Uh, and there's Santana. Hello, my man. Santana, man, we're sitting here tonight trying to make the tough decisions that we don't have to make that they will have to be made by guys next year that are getting paid the big, 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 big bucks. But Santana, just for the fun of it all, put yourself in, 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 in general manager John Lynch's seat and Kyle Shannon and try to pick out of your top ten who can you keep and who do you have to let go? Rombo, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really, I uh, really don't know about the cap space, Rombo, but, I mean, if I have to name maybe like, like three key players that I'd I'd like to keep, you know, for next year or something. Um, you know, for sure we got to sign um, Trent Williams. He's one of them, you know, just because, uh, just because, uh, 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 you know, like the other caller was saying, you can't, you got to protect Jimmy G. And then, you know, and my second second pick would be Richard Sherman Rombo. I mean, I don't care what people say, but, but. Hey, Ron, we still there? No, yeah, I'm, I'm listening. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. And, my, and uh, you know, Richard Sherman is my second dude right there just because uh, his instinct of reading plays and his, and just just the, that experience, man, you just can't buy experience any, anywhere else, you know. I don't care, 
you know, he just he's just a monster. And and his mentality, the way he came back from his injury, it's you know that's that's something that can can be matched. You know, so so he'd be one of them. And then just because he's a and also too because he's a figure in the locker room too. So people, I'm pretty sure people have respect to what he has to say. And um, team and, leader. Uh, uh, yeah. Third one would be what was that? what was that? No, I'm just saying team leader. Team leaders are people yeah, don't understand team. the the. The importance of a guy that is a guy that just glows in the locker room as a beacon for just a path of which direction we're going to go here. You need those guys, and you're right. Sherm doesn't get enough credit yeah. for that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, definitely. And then, and then, I mean, uh, uh, what's it called? I mean, the other guy I would have to go with is is, is uh, how you should, because like oh. you know, I heard other callers say, and he's a big big part of 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 uh of the running game and he's and he can catch too rombo oh he can, he run can catch he, he's that yeah. oh he's he's a he's a perfect uh uh like a little uh, uh like a little perfect play for kyle shannon just to ride up and, and you know kyle you should just gonna be open because no one really pays attention to him when when he's out in the field and uh and, and see the so contested uh, catches he makes i mean juice could have yeah, two oh, guys yeah, hanging oh. on he comes down with that ball always freaks me out like i said dang juice is just hard Dude came up with them dudes he, were all just, over him. He still made that catch. So yeah. he's he's just a football player, Rumble. Yeah, he's just that's a great it. football player, you know. Yeah. And then um you know, and then yeah, that was that that'd be my three players that I'd keep, honestly, Rumble from you know, if I had to pick three, but a Williams, you know, there's other players Williams, too, like Kittle and Juice. Kwan Williams, yeah, there you go. Okay, well, yeah, uh, you know. Yeah, but uh, Kittle what, is due for another two years or something like that. So that's why I'm not really including him there. Nah, Kittle's year, not but... going anywhere. You know, George is, you know, George is, I feel bad, bad for him, but George is asking for too much. But anyway, George Kittle, the 49ers can actually save money franchising tank George for the next three years. <laughs> what his agent is asking. <laughs> you can't go anywhere. You know, Because if, you, if you're going to ask for outrageous numbers, 13 to 15 is already setting the bar higher than any tight end is going to get for years. So George should take that. You know, and and, I mean, and, and and stop. Stop it. Tell your agent to stop it. 15 is fine. <laughs> you know, and, and, and just let's so, go. No, I mean, I don't think I don't think nothing. I think he's going to play, you know, and I don't think they're going to come to any agreement, you know, of, of this season. And, and you know, like I said, I, I feel like he's going to play. I don't think he's going to hold out. Or anything yeah, George like loves that. to play. Just He'll because, play. yeah, be – yeah, he understands there's other players to be signed this year coming up. So, yeah, well, George does. You his know, agent is the guy. Was it Beckton? Yeah, well, yeah. Well, his agent is trying to get a percentage, so he's trying to get paid as soon as possible. I know, right? So, but I mean, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> screw that guy, you know. But, uh, <sighs> but I mean, uh, Kyle and 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 Kyle and and John Lynch know what type of player George Kittle is. So, you know, I'm pretty sure that. That they got something already figured out, but I mean, it yeah, is what it is at the end of the day. Santana, you're, I'm, no. I'd, I'd work this out so quick. George, listen, let me base you at 13. Wait, wait, listen before you say anything else. Your agent, just tell him to be quiet and let me finish. We're going to give you 13. George, with the incentive package, I'm going to lay on you, and all these are easy milestones for you to pass quickly. I'm talking if you mm-hmm. just shine your shoes, okay? We're going to give you $4 million for that. The thing is, at the end of the day, you're going to make more than $20 million, George. You're going back to Pro Bowl? Sure you are. That's going to be another two. I mean, I'd have it so loaded that George just says, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and fire my agent. Your excuse, we'll take it from here. I mean, there's no need for all this. Incentive deals are laid no, there no, for no. people like George Kittle, so I don't have to spend it to kill my cap, and then he can still get paid, you know? So. I mean, Rommel, when the time really, really, really comes where you need, that we need to sign him, he's going to get paid. Yeah. I'm, I'm positive he's going to get paid, you know? So, yeah. so just, uh, you know, kind of thinking about it right now it just doesn't make any sense right now because I feel like at the end of the day, when it really comes down to it, George is going to get signed. Yeah. But, yeah, you well, know, um, yeah, so, not gonna let him, they're so, not going to let him leave. He'll get tagged, if nothing else. And that's yeah. a last resort, but that's an oh, ugly yeah, no, resort. No. Yeah, so. That's an ugly resort, but I don't, I don't think it'll come down to that. And then the other thing, too, Rombo, is that, is that you know, uh, Jaquaski Tart, you know, you know he's going to get traded away this, this, this upcoming season, Rombo. 
Yeah. We, you know who we're gonna get? We're gonna get Jamal Adams. That's who we're gonna get, <laughs> Jamal's on everybody's <laughs> everybody's menu. Oh, I'll take the Jamal Adams, please. And listen, Rumble. add some extra peppers to it. <laughs> hey, Rumble, it just Yo. makes sense, dude. It just makes sense. You well, know, you, like you know, you trade him away. Hopefully, you get you know maybe trade away uh, the second round pick, you mm-hmm. know, and 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 maybe throw throw something for the twenty twenty first or. The, no, deal, and, and Santana, the deal will be you would send Kwaski because you can't afford to pay him anymore because his deal ex- exactly, expires. Exactly, yep. You send Kwaski, mm-hmm. and, and hopefully if they want to make that deal, they take a second-round pick at best. Mm-hmm. Jamal Adams was at a first-round pick, and he's played up to that potential. You just wonder how much you got to give up to get him, you know? But that's – Yep, yeah, no. We'll and I mean, it just it, – it makes, it makes a lot of sense, too, because he's going to come in. Obviously, you know, he's not – going to cost a lot but obviously at some point he's going to want some money but i think by that time you have to i next. think yeah, we can have some money so. freed up or you would hope you know and and so yeah right. so Santana? i mean yeah. we so, gotta I mean, go it makes sense but no oh, yeah it does all right, we'll, we'll, we'll make it happen all right <laughs> See yeah, all right man all right, See you tomorrow night. Yeah. all right night fam yeah yeah the jamal adams thing and every year we we've always got that 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 candy that's just right there, and can we get it every year? What, last year was was it AB last year? Hey, hey, Krusty, Krusty, hello, hello. hey, Krusty, Krusty, hey. Krusty, where are you? I hope you're practicing. Uh, uh, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, is that is I that your television, or are you, are you at an establishment? I, I, you're, you're social distancing, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, Krusty. So, hey, you know, we're, we're working yeah. on the night. We're wondering who we're going to mm-hmm. have to start planning a funerals for. Well, I shouldn't use the word funeral. We're going to have to get ready to start the old acquaintance before God. Krusty. You got ten guys or so. You're not gonna be able to sign all of them. You, you, have you looked at those names like Kwan Williams, DJ Jones, mm-hmm. Kwaski T, Emmanuel Mosley? You got Kendrick Bourne. You got uh, Daniel Brunskill, Trent Williams, and of course the incredible George Kittle. How are you gonna keep these guys? Right. How are you gonna, what are you gonna do to manipulate this? That's hard to say. You know, you feel like you gotta you gotta pay. Obviously, Trent Williams and George Kittle. Yeah, I feel like you gotta. I feel like we should keep Sherman. I think he'll be willing to do one of the incentive deals. He kind of bet on himself himself this last time. Yeah, yeah, he bet on himself this last time, so I think he'd be willing to do it again. You know, I agree. I keep hearing about Jamal Adams, but I think it's not going. That's not going to work out. We've got too many other contracts to take care of. Well, I tell you you what. Adam Gase has already said, listen, I'm not trying to hear about Jamal Adams leaving. I just said, right. that blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know, so he might not even leave, but go ahead. Right. You know, we, we you know, our t- I think we're going to be able to sign a lot of them back because it seems like our guys, you know, they're willing to take team friendly deals right now because they're good and they want to be, they want to win stadium. championships. They don't yeah. seem like they're all money hungry. Look at what Armstead did this last year, Jimmy oh, Ward. Yeah. They all took team-friendly deals just so that they could stay on here for a few more years and win championships. I think it's going to be the same way for a lot of these guys. Mm. K1, we, we need to keep him because he's, he's a good cornerback. Absolutely. You know, even, got, he, even though I, people talk crap about Solomon Thomas, I think he's a good backup. He's a quality <laughs> backup. And I how think much, that okay, we, how much did he pay that, him? Not very much, you know. <laughs> maybe not much more than what he's making right now. Ah, okay. you know, Dusty, you're gonna pay him nine million dollars. I can't stand. Solomon is overpaid right now. I'd bring him back down to five and say, Solomon, listen, you know what? You're gonna be a rotational player. <laughs> you know, I got, I got to bring it back down to five. Can you stand it? Because that's a, it's a rookie contract he's coming out of. Does he get pissed off? Is he right. insulted? Is he gonna accept that? Well, another thing is we have to see what he does this year. We don't know what he's going to do well, this year. It, From what, true. you know, he had flashes last year that I saw where he was able to get back there and, like, he got a couple sacks or whatnot. So let's see if, if something happens and he actually, if he, you know, what if he gets eight to ten sacks this year? Are we going to turn around and do what we did? Like, you know, what if, 
you know, DeForest Buckner's gone. Maybe he's going to step up in a role and he's going to be what he should have been. Maybe he'll live up to his draft grade this year. Who knows? But, Krusty, you know what's really funny? I don't think he will. Let me just add this to that. You know, every time the 49ers say we're not picking up your fifth-year deal, they weren't going to pick up Eric Armstead's fifth-year deal. They weren't going to pick up Lincoln Tomlinson's fifth-year deal. The following year, those both guys got paid. Is Solomon Thomas, right. is this that? Let's see. I don't know. We're, we're about Ward, to find out. I'll tell you thing. that. No, they. I don't think right. he's in the same situation. But yeah, but go ahead. But the thing about that, we the great thing that we have right now is depth, and that's what we need to keep, and we have quality depth. So I think that if we're able, you know, for depth purposes, keep as many as these of our guys as we possibly can, and I think that a lot of these guys would be willing to make the deals to be able to stay with the minor and not, you know, move on. Mm. A lot of the guys are humble, and that's the way that they need to stay because – that's one of the reasons I think we went 13-3 and three last year is because they were humble the whole time, and regardless of what they did, they stayed humble, and that's why they just kept going through and they kept whooping people. The one game that they got cocky, I think, is against the Falcons. And that, yeah, do you really think so? That were turned they, them around right away. Were they feeling themselves in that game? Because I, I didn't know I if they were just so. tired. Didn't we just come off of a short week? How come – they did not look like themselves. I, I agree. Uh, they may have not taken that game seriously. You got a good point there. Right. That's the one thing I hope that, you know, in the end, L, they just this year, they keep the same mentality that they kept last year throughout the whole se- thing and not go into the season thinking that they're the top dogs and everything like that. that they just one game at a time and just, you know, keep to it and just move on forward with everything because yeah. that's where it's going to keep them in the – Winning thing. If they start getting too cocky, that's when you start losing games. You know, I, so. I don't think that locker room has, has got that potential. You know, because they don't they don't carry themselves in that fashion. We don't have any divas, um, right? So yeah, I, I think they're pretty much prime. They know, and they talk as if they know it's going to be a tough road to hoe because of the fact that they got a target on their backs because they are the guys right. to go after. So all right, that might not be a problem, right? But yeah. You know. I think that everything's going to work out. I think that we're going to sign a lot more people than uh, a lot of those guys back next year. I think it's going to all work out for us. We'll be surprised. You know, John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan, they, they've they got magic up their sleeves. So they're going to make things work. And they're going to make the players play their best by giving them incentive deals. So because if they really want to make that money, then they're going to play the best that they can. Right. And so, this would be the place to make it because if you've got an incentive deal in front of you and we're going to line it up so you can you can hardly fail, then we'll, why would you leave? You know? So, yeah. Right. I agree. Right. That's how I think that they should structure their contracts and stuff like that. Just fill them up with incentives and then it's just going to make them all work, mm-hmm. work out mm-hmm. and do really good. So. And anybody who thinks yeah. they can't, and, can't reach those goals, then we probably shouldn't sign them anyway because they don't believe in themselves. And you need good players that do believe in exactly. themselves. Exactly. Yeah, so. Yeah, they uh, bet on themselves and they'll get farther. There you go. So. All right. Good idea, Krusty. I like that. Tell you what, I'm gonna, let's see you tomorrow if you get a chance, all right? Oh, absolutely. Right. Talk to you night. tomorrow. Yeah. Night, Krusty. Later. Yeah, because 49 going to have to do that a lot in the upcoming seasons. Or else we're going to have to draft like crazy because, man, it's – the money thing, you can't afford all them superstars. You can have about four, but after that, it gets a little gets a little scary. Shelly, oh, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> Shaleo, as you know, tonight we're trying to figure out of the top ten free agents coming up in 2021, who in the world are we going to keep? How many can we keep? When you consider the fact that Trent and, and, and George are going to cost a lot, everybody else is going to have to collect from there. Anyway, Shalino, what are you thinking here tonight? Uh, man, Dad gave me a call today. And? <laughs> uh, he, he was really happy, you know, at first, and then he started crying again. I, I don't know why. He was like, oh, the Red Rifle's about to take my position. How about them cowgirls? How about them lambs? How about them seacocks? How about them Arizona 
play card Cardinals with no with paid spectators. <laughs> Shout out to local 49ers fan. He loves that. <laughs> he started that. <sighs> oh God. Trade the Raider chicken days. <laughs> I like them, boy. That's, that's them. Trader, Raider, Chippendale Joes. <laughs> oh, Oliver named Joe. Da, 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 boom, boom. Here comes the thong. Boing. Oh, the ladies are leaving the building. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, hey. Robo, let's get down to yeah. football. What's the topic yeah. for tonight? Tonight we're looking to see we got a lot of guys we got to sign next year that are good ball players, and we're not going to be able to financially. It seems almost impossible to keep the top ten and keep them all in tow. And I just go down the list really, really quick here because you're starting with um, let's see, let's got yeah Brunskill who's got a lot of value on this team. Uh, there's Kendrick Bourne, DJ Jones, Kyle Juszczyk, Emmanuel Mosley. Sherm is on that list. Klosky T, K1 Williams, Trent Williams. I mean, these guys are, are, are really, how do you, you get rid of them, you got a void now. Now all of a sudden, remember when people say, Fortnite has got so many holes on that team that there's no point in them thinking they've got to contend. They've got to build that team up. Well, we built it up, and now we can't afford to keep it. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Who are you gonna who are you gonna keep here, Shaleo? Um, who I'm gonna cut first is Dante, Mr. Catman, Mr. Meow, Mr. Yeah, but, Pettis, man. But it's too early. And, He's got and, another year in his contract. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta kind of. It's over, Too you know. He's sense. done it. He, he is, he is now officially the cat guy. <laughs> you know, he, he's out in trainings. You know, he's playing around. Jimmy brought him over. You know, oh, to get better. Yeah. And this guy, meow cat. Yeah, you know, true. he brought his little kitty cats around. But but and but. Solomon Thomas is like we gotta admit this. He's he's a he's a top solid bust. B U S T. Yeah. Top solid. But they've already said they're not picking up. He's not getting his fifth-year option picked up anyway unless he shows a lot of stuff. But you got some guys you really got to seriously look at, Shaleel. Because, you know, between between Brunskill, Jones, Bourne, Juice, Juice, these guys are all going to leave you next year unless you can pay them. Is there a sacrifice here you see you can make? Yeah, if guys are willing to take pay cuts. Yeah, Is that the first thing you're going to say to them, though? Because, you know, I, I always wonder, man, yeah, well, Trent Williams and George Kittle, I don't know, Shaleel. These are the guys that I got to make sure they don't leave. After that. You know, pay your solid players. Yeah. And the players that still need work, you got to take a pay cut. No other way. Yeah. We've been talking about incentive packages all night. So, you know, and if you can't, if you don't feel you can fulfill these, these, these goals, then maybe this is not the right place for you anyway. We're not about guys who don't believe in themselves. So, therefore, we'll just bid you adieu. <laughs> That's the end of that conversation. <laughs> but, yeah, I, it's yeah. a scary thing, Shaleel. We got too many guys expiring next year. 35 guys. 27 are unrestricted free agents. That's really scary. Very scary. And you built the right way, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Remember we, we Brick by Brick? Really good. Oh, really brick by good. Brick. But you know, that's the thing, Shaleel. These guys draft so good. Look at the draft picks that did work out. We got two or three that failed, but a lot of them made it. And Trent Taylor comes around this year. That would mean, my God, DJ Jones, Trent, George. Um, so you, said, uh, you know what's really funny? Some of our worst picks are from the first two rounds. <laughs> I just found out. Somebody liked round. me. Hey, Don, yeah, Keller Dante, Willis. Had us. Yeah, well, Akella Witherspoon was in a second-round pick. I thought he was a third-round pick. Akella, too, yeah. Yeah, both the Dante. Is that right? Somebody said Akella was a second-round pick. He really is a third-round pick. So, no, it's been corrected. Akella was in the third round. So, you know, it's those early rounds where the 49ers, well, except for Nick Bosa, <laughs> because I know everybody says, man, we had Reuben Foster. No, no, Reuben Foster is a fail. So, you know, it's, yeah. 
We'll see. Anyway. Rumbo, you hmm. you know, uh, Rumbo, we, we wouldn't have to deal with uh, Solomon Thomas if Lynch did his job <laughs> and got a Jamal Adams. And we wouldn't be or trying to get him else. out. He'd be already on our team. Oh! He would be already on our team. We'd be ready to pay him. I wanted Christian and, and, you McCaffrey, know, he too. Be, he wouldn't be cooking I... something with his mom. Like he, he, Come on, man. We, we, we could have got ourselves a Jamal Adams. But it's it was okay, you know. Time has passed. I know. All right. It's over now. We got to deal with, you know, the Whoa. bust. We still get. We got. He's got to be dealt with this year. I mean, yeah, he's is. not going to make a performance. I, he's, I call him what he is, Mister uh, Grab Ass the O Line. <laughs> Shalil, we're out of time, Shalil. I'll look for you tomorrow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Shout out to Night Empire. Thank you for the platform, Rumble. You have a good night and wash those hands and hit those lights. You. Thanks, Shalil. Night, fam. And I see you. Night, Shalil. JC3771, thanks, fam. Niner fever all day. That's right, all night. It never stops. Thanks for that contribution, fam. Um, and it's, what? It's Bill? Well, hello, Bill. Can't imagine who Bill's going to cut. This is going to be funny. Uh, Bill? Oh, bro. What's up, bro? <laughs> Long Bill. time, no talk. I know, hey, Bill. How, we how need you to doing? go ahead and get some of ah, I've been surviving. We need to grab Jamal Adams. I've been looking a lot about that because I'm telling you something. You're not going to like what you're about to hear. Antonio Brown most likely, most definitely will end up in Seattle. Everybody most thinks so. Most likely and most definitely. He's going, to be, he's going to be a Seahawk. I hope so. He's going to give us trouble in that division. I'm sorry. There's no way to Dwayne Tart can keep up with Brown. He doesn't we have to. We need to go ahead and pull Bill. You're we never going to see – Klosky is action. not going to be covering that deep downfield. <laughs> anyway. So we need to go ahead, pull the trigger, get Jamal Adams, get him. Whatever, I mean, come on. Really? We don't really need the first round next year. Well. Come on. Maybe not. But, I mean, you know what? I got a feeling, though, we're going to fire – remember the story, the legend of Jason Verrett? Shutting down Antonio Brown? Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna keep Jason tuned up and ready to roll. And then when we play the Hawks, oh, there's my dude. What? You? Yes. They just told me today you and me was gonna party for this whole game. You ready to roll? Let's go. <laughs> there's talk of Kaepernick going to Seattle too. Who? Talk of Colin Kaepernick going to Seattle. Oh, yeah. I heard about that last week. I think about it last week. You know, they brought Kaepernick in once in Seattle before. I don't know what Pete Carroll's doing, but why do you keep toying with Cap? You get to sign him or what? And, you know, here's the thing. Cap does not want to play backup role. So it's going to be interesting to see how that works out if they're doing that. I thought Baltimore wanted him, too. You know too. what? I got something to say for those Seahawks fans. Your coach is scared. He's shaking. He is nervous. He's trying to pull all kinds of triggers because he knows he's not going to be able to keep up with us. Yeah. Pete Carroll is now scared. Once in his whole life, he's tried to own the Niners, and now we might have their number. Yeah. No, it's, this team, they've matured now to a place now where the antics that worked last year, that was the last chance they had on that. And the first game they won when both Sanders and Kittle was out, that probably won't happen twice the same way. I don't think the 49ers are going to really struggle with the Hawks. And besides, Drake Greenlaw loves playing against the Hawks. So go ahead. Bring Antonio Brown over there with all the luggage and irritations and agony he's going to bring to that locker room and to the field. I can't wait. He's not able to play in that kind the of situation. Reason, the only reason they beat us last year is because our backup kicker couldn't make the kick. That's it. That's his straight down the middle. That kicker missed the kick, and then they turned around and won. If he would have made that kick, we would have won that game. 
And the ref, remember that, hey, Bill, remember oh. that, that call down the field on Garland? Had nothing whatsoever. It was Garland and Brunskill. Had nothing to do with the play at the line of scrimmage. They were so far downfield, you had to get a pair of field glasses to see them. The ref is downfield throwing the flag. I said, you mother, you know what? That's the only reason they climbed back in that game. The 49ers would have got that first down and would have ran that clock. No, no. Here's the official. Oop, I can save this game. Reason. Yes, we need to 15 to yards, that is all you. God, we can't oh. leave the games close. We can't yeah, leave any game. Not in close. Seattle, because you know that it's going to be decided whether Seattle or any team. They're going to try to knock us out of the playoffs. They don't like us. The referees don't like us. You know that. I know. So they're going to try to keep us out of the game. So you know, let's go ahead and trade for Jamal Adams. Let's beat our opponents down. You know they're going to be all rusty. They're going to be. We're on them. Our team is going to be. On fire this year. Let's not keep the game close. Let's make it 42 to 14 in each game, or even 56 to 21. Let's get. Let's make sure we don't make sure the referees cannot decide any games. I don't care if it's the Super Bowl. If you have to make it 70 to three, where the refs can't do nothing about it. You know what? Let's just beat them down. <laughs> almost what you got to do. Beat them down. <laughs> let's take it. Let's take it home, and let's make sure they don't decide anything. Yeah, it would be nice. Because I don't – we won a lot of games in the fourth quarter, and I hate that, you know. But that's the way it goes nowadays, especially when the officials are doing the things they do. But that's fine. We still beat them. We split with them, and, uh, you know, that's all you can ask. And beat them in, in Seattle, which is more sweet. <sighs> oh, yeah. I can't, I, I can't wait, man. Yeah. I can't wait to see how this season pans out. Yeah. And especially how we might be playing in Arizona from what the rumors are. They don't want to host any games in Cali. Is that rumors or, or fact? I, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I don't, where are they going to – anyway, we'll see how that develops because things have got to change in the Bay Area for from to let the 49ers play in, Santa, in Levi Stadium. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, hey, Bill, good to hear from you. I'm gonna, we're going to go, and I'll see you tomorrow if you get a chance because we, right, we haven't heard right, from you be on tomorrow before you go. My girl, Shania, with a 49er shout-out. <laughs> Shania, yes. Oh, you want, oh, you want, the, oh you, want the, you want the regular. I thought you had something else to say. Are you ready? And Bill. <laughs> I can't wait to be in an area where I can do that again one day. I miss <laughs> doing that. Do it anyway. Doesn't matter where you are. I'm excited about this year. And I'm going to say something to, 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 to Shanahan and Lynch. Oh, by the way, you guys need to go ahead and sign Lynch's contract. Pull a horse and around with that. Number two, go ahead and pull the trigger on Jamal Adams. Stop <laughs> giving him ammo to try, to try to eat us alive. And you know what? I'll be <laughs> on the mall. You have a nice night. All right, Bill. Night, 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 guys. Yeah, people don't know, man. That that deal is probably the Forty Nine ers are looking into it. You pretty much believe that. Oh, Alice. Alice. And there we go. Nine five one. Nine five one. Rumble. Yo, Rumble. who is this? Yes, hello. Hey, hey, long time no speak. Yeah, I can't believe you don't you don't recognize my voice. Well, now I do. <laughs> you were kind of low <laughs> coming in. Well, look at this. Okay, we're we're privileged tonight Rumble. to bring back to the mic. His name is the famous Rudy. <laughs> Rudy you, changed, <laughs> you changed your area code so we didn't know who you were. <laughs> oh no, no, I I got the same area code. It's, it's nine five one. Okay. In Riverside, the, the West Side. Um, well, normally, okay. so I'm gonna your give a name shout out comes to my, up. To my boy. Huh? Well, normally, your name comes up. I just seen an area code. But anyway, go ahead. What, what's oh, up? What I are you got, thinking here? You know how they do that? Well, you, you know, I'm hearing all these Niner fans, and they're excited for the season. Okay. And what kills me, you know, you got to be a fan, and you're sick by your team, but they act like they've been there before. You know, last year, the Rams were one game away from going 10 and 6. And they possibly could have faced you guys. You know how the trouble we gave you guys in Santa Clara. We were starting to get our feet under us. If we would have won that game against Seattle or that Niner game, we would go 10-6 and six and we're in the playoffs. And that's a scary situation because if you give McVay a second chance, because we had that game. That game was ours. 
we had our young secondary guy blow that call, I mean, blow that uh, long pass. You got to give it to Jimmy Grappo. He actually hit that one. But, you know, we're not that far off. We, we, took, we, we had some injuries, and we didn't make the playoffs last year. But Niner fans act like they've been, they've been there the last couple of years now. They, they got there last year, and, you know, congrats, but they got to do it again. And now everybody's gunning for you, and now your wide receiver core and the secondary, they're, they're a little iffy. You know, Sherm's looking like he's toasty, you know. And we here we are, we're reloaded. We got Cam Akers at running back. We got Van Jefferson. You know, he's a Cooper Cup clone. We're ready to roll. So, you know, just to give you guys some heads up, you know, the Rams ain't nowhere. The Rams ain't going nowhere. And with that cap in, that cap money with the uh, uh, Gurley and Cook's uh, money off the books next year, we have 58 million. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 Rudy, 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 you haven't paid that yet. Listen, Rudy, here's the thing. How are you going to pay Jalen Ramsey? Oh, they got the money ready. That's why we got rid of those two. <laughs> By next year, we got 58 million. <laughs> ready to go but, but, what, but, but let me ask you this what number should we give Kittle when you guys get rid of him <laughs> yeah, I want to see you, try, <laughs> you I can imagine you guys trying to sign Kittle Rudy do you know your franchise is out of money what you're playing with now is guys who are fill-ins they're not established stars they're not even that good they're okay so Rudy you're Robert. calling in here and talking about how you gave me a lot of excuses and a lot of things and ifs. Rudy, you're you're kind of falling into a bag of delusion, bro. What's up? Well, Robert, okay, let, let me just let me just let, let's just look. I, I want to give time to you, your callers. Hold on one second. Let's just look at it. So we got golf. If you look at his stats, he's comparable with the top five, top top eight quarterbacks in the league, even on the down year. Uh, we have Cam Akers. He's going to take that role for Gurley now. Now we're Ooh. we're we're lethal on the running back, Cam Akers. And then we got Van Jefferson, who's a Cooper Cup clone. He's ready to step in and can run routes mm-hmm. with McVay doing the offense. Mm-hmm. And then we have uh, – mm-hmm. so we got uh, Woods, we got Cup, we got Higby, we got Jefferson. We're still lethal on offense. Now you go to the defensive side of the ball, you got the best <laughs> defensive lineman in the league. You got how Brockers. You, you got how about Jimmy Ramsey. How about your offensive line? line? You know, Off- Offensive line? Yeah, it's offensive an old line guy at the end there year. protecting your quarterback now. You know – with the defensive front I got, if you got a weak front offensive line, Rudy, I hate to tell you, but you're going to be eating dirt a lot again. Well, I'm looking at that 32-year-old guy you guys got trying to stop uh, Aaron Donald and, and, and Brockers. You know, 32, we sacked you guys. I thought we were going to kill. Wait, wait, wait. wait excuse we me. 32-year-old guy <laughs> trying to stop <laughs> Brockers and Donald? Are you talking about yeah. Trent Williams? Yeah, you remember that game last year in Santa Clara, right? I thought we were going to kill Garoppolo. It was like 10 sacks. Wait, 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 guy, wait, 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 Rudy, was Rudy, Rudy, let me just ask you this question. <laughs> Are you talking about Trent Williams? Yeah, Trent Williams, 32-year-old Trent Williams. And wait, let me get, get, get this, stud, wait, wait, I just want to get this straight. Time. I want to get this clear. You think that you've got guys that are going to abuse Trent Williams? Oh, yeah. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> most definitely. <laughs> Most you definitely. really are delusional, aren't you? Really? Well, we I, I got Aaron know. Donald. We got Aaron Donald. If he retired today, he can he'll still be up for the Hall of Fame. Well, I got a new – okay, I'll give you Aaron Donald. But excuse me, Brockers, Trent Williams will eat him for friggin' lunch. Really, you know what? This is enough. You've had enough. This is silly. I'm going to tell you what. You go <laughs> have a good night, Rudy. And it's been great to hear oh, from wait, you wait, again. Rumble, rumble, <laughs> rumble. Let me get one last thing in. Let me get one really, last thing in. You got 10 in. seconds. Go. One last – okay. Ten. I keep hearing about the Rams score three points in the Super Bowl, okay? We had a limited girly, and we had without Cooper Cup against Belichick. You guys had 20 to 10 lead against a weak Chiefs defense and okay. couldn't hold on. 10 seconds is up. Good night, Rudy. <laughs> What's wrong with him? He's really lost his mind. Uh, hey. Well, uh, it's a big show. Uh, it's a big show on the night show and, uh, and on a Sunday. Go, what's up? That was that. That was a total waste of time. I, um, I he's <laughs> just he needs medication. That was terrible. Yeah. Anyway. Well, before I begin my point, before I begin my points tonight, um, mm. I became a first-time uncle after the draft. So All right. I have been quite busy with that and unfortunately i have some bad news to share with you Rombo. oh my brother's already starting 
he's already started before she was born to buy her Raider onesies and headbands and oh, bib and no. uh, yeah. So there's oh. unfortunately that part where I can't con- convert her into. Well, maybe when she's older, I can convert her into a 49ers fan. But oh, it'll be too, as of right it'll be, now, she's it'll unfortunately. Be yeah, that's a hard. Job. She's already in, she's already corrupted with the Raider Nation. So uh, <laughs> that's that's a lost cause right there. Oh. I think as as far as. So I sympathize. We so. all have Raider fans somewhere in our families. It's just, you know. And, and that fortunately happens to be my one and only brother. <laughs> and my dad are Raider fans. So. <laughs> and my oh. mom and I, are, my mom and I are the, my mom and I are the Niner fans in the family. So. All right. Yeah. She, she brainwashed me. I, uh. I was the firstborn, so. All right. She did a good job, too. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, Anyways, um. Anyways, uh, as far as well, my top five candidates obviously are Trent Williams. Um, mm. He's going to cost Kittle. a shit, a, a ton of money. Yeah. George Kittle is going to cost a ton of money, and he Probably. is worth twenty million dollars. He is, um, but you know, he's got to. And still. unfortunately, if that if that if that if that's if that's the case, then I think they're they're going to follow the the Forest Buckner blueprint and trade him off for a first round pick. If they can't come to terms on an agreement with a contract, you know what I mean. Yeah, but, but why would you this do is that? The part so, where, so you you can you can you can franchise tag him. You you don't have to do that. Yeah, these well, things. yeah, you can franchise. Yeah, and you can save that's, lots that's of money. Million right yeah. That's a that's a nine that's a nine that's nineteen million right there though. Franchise tags are costly. No, they no, cost the tag, a lot no, of no, money. No, the tags at nineteen million. The the top tight end of the league gets what ten somewhere between ten and eleven, right? So you can't go to I double the price. Yeah, over a three-year period, it comes out to forty-five. I, I, I forgot what it was. It's it's quite a. You save money by franchise tagging him. So you've franchised George for three years and still save money from yeah. that figure you're talking about now. So they're not going to go that route. I'm confident they're going to get a deal done, but if they no. don't come to terms with a the contract, they're going to they're going to pull at a Forrest Buckner and trade him for a first-round pick. That's the unfortunate part of this business and uh you, you know you just got to move on and find his replacement you, yeah. you know that's what that's I, what I happens uh, i just don't see it happening i you know i don't and think, I don't you have to give two first either, round picks we, we nah. just have to we just have to prepare ourselves because we nobody saw the force buckner be traded everyone thought eric armstead was going to get traded that's been the whole that's what that was the whole talk this whole time. Yeah. Well, you and, know, well, you know the Forrest well, Buckner. I, I want to add one more perspective on that though. Eric Armstead, Jimmy Ward, guys like this, they want to play for the 49ers. So they're not going to try to gut the team. The Forrest Buckner, I'm not sure yeah. what happened with that. I'm still confused about that because 18 million is not a tiny payday. So you know, the, the no. Indianapolis Colts were prepared to pay over 20 mil. So he, John Lynch, had to say, "Well, you, you got to go get that man. We don't have that." So yeah. I don't see Kittle running it to that, to that narrative. You know what I mean? He likes playing for the 49ers. Mm-hmm. He'd be more like Eric Armstead. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, yeah. So, and obviously Juice is my, other, my third candidate. Uh, K1 Williams, which it's, I've heard a couple of times tonight. Uh, he's been one of the best slot corners we've had. since. Oh, we've, in the league. He's been a really good slot corner. Yeah, um, yeah and... As far as the guys on the one-year contracts goes, I think they're they're pretty much right. They're it's written off that they're pretty much going to be walking and seeking starting money elsewhere and uh, be looking for new homes in 2021. This team's going to look a lot different in 2021. Super win- Super Bowl windows come quick and they go quick. And in order to keep your team in the playoffs, you, you you've cost, you've got to you've got to draft better people always yeah. every year, and you got to bring in new you got to bring in new people every year. That's the unfortunate part of this business, and mm. we're known for not we're known for not overpaying for players uh, when their <laughs> contracts are up, and so well, we're not we're not as bad as the Patriots. <laughs> no, that's you know, that's a model they're going to adopt no. anyway. You know that, don't you? That that's the model. That's the exact model they're adopting right now. Is they, yeah. if they if you're if you're going to ask for twenty million or more, there's the door. We're we're happy with getting a first round draft pick for you. Well, you know, they're trying to go ahead and test the market out and see how you do. Because we're going to get compensated yeah. for whoever signs you anyway. That's the way. you got to be Belichick-like. Mm-hmm. But when you got Shanahan for the offensive coach, I mean, I, I, they do good with the draft picks, so I'm okay with that. And undrafted free agents as and, well. So, And you could totally tell that they were following the Patriots' blueprint with the DeForest Buckner trade because 
We've also heard stories out there and seen stories out there that Kyle Shanahan chews Bill Belichick's ear off every now and then when they get a chance oh, to yeah. get together. You know what I mean? They he always he always asks him for advice and uh, they're they have a camaraderie together. Bill yeah, Belichick and, uh, him and, him and Kyle, Kyle Shanahan do yeah, so. Well, show. Good stuff, man. Good yeah. to hear from you, too. So always any surprise show yeah, appearances. This is not uh, draft time, <laughs> which is show's time. No. <laughs> you know. that's, that's, my, that's, my, that's my season to come in, and I like uh, to hear everybody what they have to say when it's the off season, and so I, show, And show comes in with these outrageous scenarios, and people can't wait. <laughs> they don't even wait. The chat is going well, nuts. I always Fred, love that about Fred your show. Warner, the, I'll never forget the Fred Warner <laughs> outrageous, quote-unquote outrageous scenario that came true. And you Fred's one of the premier for that. linebackers in the NFL. I and agree. he's one of the best linebackers in the NFL right now. And you made a few mistakes, right though, too. So We're okay. not going to talk about those now. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> nobody nobody can. It's hard, Bravo. It is extremely It is extremely hard to predict those traps, believe it or not. It, it's, it's like a, no, it's like a lottery, you know. It's, so, I mean, you we know, gotta we come go. in with our two cents and everything. So The thing is, yeah. I love the way you keep an eye on everybody that's anybody in college ranks. We need you, show. So, you oh. know, you're appreciated. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, and look out for look out for Kyle Pitts if George Kittle were to unfortunately get traded. That's what's a, his, a what's he's his a tight end out of Florida. Um, Kyle, Kyle Pitts. Pitts. All right. Look out for him this year. Yeah, he's a he's he gives he gives Jared Cook and uh, Darren Waller vibe. He's got Ooh. Jared Cook and Darren Waller written all, all right. over him. So if he could just block. Okay. Yeah, that's a good that's a good that's a good person to keep an eye out. So all right, sure. If that were to happen. So you all have a good night. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Um, and take care, everybody. All right. All right. Good night. Night, Joe. <laughs> A surprise show appearance. Uh, and, oh, Ellis! What's up, Rambo? Ellis, man, we're just looking at the, 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 the dilemma. Because, you know, right now, nobody wants to, the Fort Niners are certainly not talking about it because they're worried about, you know, getting, getting the job done for this year. But, man, next year, it, it's, it's just scary. The exodus of talents is, is just, the possibility is just nasty. I mean, Bourne, Brunskill, and those are just the guys that are, are, are you know, Sir Jones, Juice, Mosley, Sherm, Tart, Williams, two times. The Williams brothers, K1 and Trent. Neither one of them are going anywhere. I tell you, the Williams brothers will be with us, along with Juice, too. Kwaski's Questival, probably. Sherm, I, I just don't know what to say about Sherm. DJ Jones. How do you get with DJ Jones? These guys have good seasons. Ellis, man, from where you sit, what are you thinking here? Who's going to be the guys you definitely want to keep? <clears throat> I know that's what I said. There's quite a there, there there are quite a few. Uh, I definitely K1. I definitely want to keep. I want to make sure I didn't forget him. Uh, but he's he's a, you know extremely valuable in my eyes. And uh, use check. Yeah, I haven't seen what the other guy looks like yet. So for now, I want from, from the new kid from Fresno. Take, Is he from Fresno? Yeah, I don't know. I can't be too sure about him yet. And uh, pocket. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just didn't see. It's maybe, maybe just because I was reading his numbers, I didn't even see any play of him or anything like that. So, uh, but he'll be able to showcase that, and at least we'll be able to see what he actually has potential wise. I think, I think, you know, I like Jaquaski Tart a lot. I think, I think Jaquaski Tart is probably, you know, would be on the chopping block more, uh, and and then you know potentially even Sherman. I don't know about. I don't know about um, shit. This is where Jamal Adams comes in, you know, perfect in the see, conversation because you see, know. That's what I was getting ready to ask to... you, Ellis. I was getting ready to ask you just that question. I just want to know before you get into that, if it wasn't for Adams being somewhat available, would you still consider letting Kwaski T leave with as well versed as he is in this defensive system? If I'm looking to trim this, trim some fat, maybe it's it's a it's a it's it's a it's a loss. It's not a a gain. Of, you know, not just us trimming the fat, but it is a loss, significant loss. I would say if we don't keep Jaquaski, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. I think just because in the system within the system, 
he's like he's done he's done really well. He's got you know very very minimal mistakes with with Kowalski, and he's always making really good decisions and his sound. You know him and Jimmy. That's one thing I can say about them. They play you know complimentary, especially together. But you know as individual players, they play you know complimentary football. So it wouldn't be something that I'd say yeah just let him go. But when I'm thinking about all the other guys and stuff like that. Hell, even even you know, I mean, look at you know, Quan. You start thinking about Quan and you know stuff like that. Oh, it's Alexander, just, uh, yeah. uh, up up in the air. You kind of just got to pick a few and, and let a few go because I know we're not going to be able to you know keep everybody, and um, you know we're going to have to try to find a way to make something happen because those linebackers. We got to keep some guys you know to replenish the linebacking crew too, so we don't want to let too many of our good guys just go. Um, but but honestly, on the defense, I would say uh, keepers for sure. K1, uh, of course, Dre's not going anywhere, um, and a couple of guys that we don't have to worry about aren't going really? anywhere. But Sherman, Dre, when you say Dre, Dre Greenlaw, his contract's not up. Dre's got another three years. Well, that's what I'm saying. He's not mm-hmm. going anywhere. He that's what I mean. So I won't even worry about him. But Richard Sherman. Um, we don't have to have him. I think he's a good. I think he's a great player, though. Mm. And uh, I think that we can. We, can Ellis, do you feel that way? Can on, we do it without Sherm? I think that we can. I think you know, but that would involve us, you know, move, moving some people. That would involve us getting a Jamal Adams, and then we would have to keep Jaquaski more more than likely if that was the case. So it's kind of like you know, pick your pick your poison. I don't really know how you kind of slice that because then it would have to be some guys getting moved around and playing a different position outside of their norm. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, which you know, I don't think Jimmy wants to do too much. You know, uh, um, you know, trying to like trying to play corner. I'm just saying, if they were gonna, you know, I would say I doubt they would ever try to do something like that. Well, you know, see, that's that's what I'm thinking. We, so we, well before we safety. moving but, people out, though, the, the the thing is, do you have a replacement in mind? I think I always wonder because when I before I get rid of somebody, Richard. who? For, for Richard sure. Sherman, you saying? Because we got lucky with Joe Staley. We hit the we hit the jackpot, but that ain't gonna happen all the time. You stay you say goodbye. What about to Stanley. incorporating Tavarius? What about incorporating Tavarius Moore, and and uh, and and training him to play you know a little bit more safety? I mean he's a lot faster and quicker uh, than Sherm is, and I mean you hear Jimmy. You, 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 mean, said, you mean corner, it, it, right? It, that's what. Oh yeah. Oh, well, I thought I thought Jim. Tavares. Okay, I Tavares he was, was playing. Uh, Tavares was safety, um, but he he was working out at the corner that's, spot. That, well, that's what while. I'm saying. If sure, if if we weren't to keep, if we weren't to keep Sherman or and and move him to safety, because he's more than likely not going to play corner. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Year, you think? Yeah, that's what I'm kind of make... looking at, like a little bit down the line. That's what I was looking at. Yeah, but, no, uh, I see what you're saying now. And but the thing is, Sherman in center field might be a risk because of his speed. Uh, he's smart. So he'd be on top of a play before he have to utilize any speed, I guess, and he wants to do that anyway. Yeah. And more, yeah, yeah, got all the speed in the world. He just needs to make better decisions, take better angles. But these are things he could probably learn. I hopefully, he progressed from that last year. So yeah, that's a possibility. Yeah, he, needs, that's he, just needs, he just needs some more burn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he needs some more burn. And then, um, you know, uh, of course, you know, uh, I don't, I'm not, I'm not really concerned about. You know, the, it depends. D Ford's going to have to really come through this year. Honestly, <laughs> he's been. You know, they said he played. Tw- they said he played twenty. They said he played twenty-two percent of the fucking snaps. Okay, yeah, no, guys. He, All he right, is. come on here. Yeah. Come on. You can't. I'm just saying. You know, he's trade more than he has his contracts. He's still got a couple of two, three years on it, from what I understand. So he's Jesus. not up on the block. Yeah, and he's got two more years. Do you know? Do you yeah. know how? That was a bad. That was kind of a bad move with that contract. We should have got some bailout or some yeah. way to where we didn't have to be so <laughs> confined to keeping him and having to settle for that. Because now look at well, us. You know what I'm saying? Ellis, and now we're just praying that he can play eight games. You, you know, know what I'm saying? I know. Ellis. We were out of time, but Ellis, you know, if, it'll make you feel better. I think Parag set that up that he can be a small cap hit next year if you just want to let him go. So it's uh, yeah, you know, yeah, that'll do. be good for us though. We can cut him. So we don't, you got to find the replacement yeah, I, I between I, now and then. That's the thing. All right. Yeah, all right, yeah. And, all, and offensively, yeah, we'll talk about it more. We got Monday Night Raw, yeah. you know, going on. And what I, what I was thinking for another show, Rombo, maybe uh, we could do something uh, regarding the the uh, 
the undrafted free agents who's going to actually make the team. Yeah, you know, get them we, like we, a lineup. We, 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 we brushed against that a little while back, but yeah, I like that idea. We'll do that. All right. All right, saying, you know what I mean? It's just line them all up. All right, champ. Shout out to all you, man. Download that Rombo Sports app, man. Hit the yes. like, subscribe. Same old thing. Shout hey. out to you as always, family. Thanks, Zellis. Appreciate you, man. All right. See you tomorrow. Yeah, Zell. And, and now we go to the Garden State. All the way out at midnight, it's Mel Bang Bang. <laughs> Double Bang Gold Gang, Jersey <laughs> 9. It was good, Rombo. <laughs> Mel, I don't know if you were listening earlier, but Trez barged in tonight. He didn't. Yeah, take his I heard turn. him. Yeah, yeah, I heard him. <laughs> I, he wouldn't even let me. I couldn't even defend you. He wouldn't let me speak. So, Mel, you can give nah. the rebuttal right now. <laughs> Rombo, I don't need to be defended. I wanted to like though, because I, I agree. You see what he Mel, didn't say. You see what, Trez was you just losing it. Say, yeah. Yeah, you see what he didn't say. He didn't give me the name and number of his weed, man, like I had. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That was going to, that was actually responding to him was gonna be my first order of business All until right. I heard until I heard this dude Rudy. I Rudy, know Rudy's come on, man. I Rudy's... don't even know who you are, bro. Wow. But you need to give me the number to your liquor store and tell me <laughs> what kind of drinks what kind of drinks you had, bro. <laughs> He must be on that moonshine. Oh, you got secret yeah. sauce or something. He he had the nerve to say uh, that, oh, the, uh, what are they, the L.A. Rams? They, yeah, they're in L.A. now. The St. Hey. Louis Rams. Oh, we just needed, if we if we had a second shot at you, though, you did have a second <laughs> shot, stupid. We played you <laughs> twice, and you got punched on both times. So how many more second chances do you want or need? Oh, if we the one, if we the one against the Seahawks. So if we were to beat you guys, you'd have been ten and six. Yeah, did, well, he had so many it, ifs. He was ifing me to death. I almost passed out. I was gonna fall asleep. Man, come on, man. All these ifs, if, 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 if was if it was a a million dollars, it'd be you'd be rich. That's terrible. Stop ifing me, man. Right. Right. If your mother had testicles, she would be your father. Like, oh, yes. You can do the if game all night. <laughs> you can play the if game all night long. Come on, man. Oh, Come on, Rams are in deep trouble. That, I that was I, pathetic. I couldn't tell him. Boy's got trouble. That was pathetic. And he had a nerve to say something bad it? about a 30-year-old to Trent Williams. How old is that guy they got protecting the blind side of Jared Goff? Isn't he 38? My God. Right. What is Rudy talking about? Right. Oh. Right, and bro, he had the nerve to to use injuries as an excuse. Like, have you followed the Forty Nine ers, Rudy? Did Hell. you see how many injuries we had? Key injuries at key times. Are you kidding me right now, my bro? Come yeah. on, man, knock that off. What would twenty eighteen have been like if we'd not lost Jimmy G early in the year? You see, this is all the things that I don't know what he's talking about. Oh God, scary, right. strange. But yeah, back to Trez. Trez, my bro, I love you, my bro. I, I love you, I, I really do. But we don't need a B, man. So you know, this I'm not. I'm not trying to do like a back and forth. It's definitely not going to get heated, man. Because I, like I said, I love you, my bro. But uh, yeah, we just don't <laughs> need a B. We don't need, bro. Had this been two years ago, or maybe even the beginning of last year, I would have been on board. Like yeah, because I was on board when we were talking about possibly trying to get you. I'm like yeah, we need to go do that. We were talking about him. We were talking about Odell. Because it's like, yeah, we need to do that. Because we didn't have nobody. Did. Jerry Rice was, we had, right. was promoting him. Yeah. Right, right, right. So it's like, yeah, man, we need, we need a playmaker like that. Because we were like a, a big playmaker away. But we have the pieces that we need now. So I'm not trying to say that A.B. is, is, is not great. I'm not even trying to say that, that he doesn't deserve a second chance because I definitely hope that brother has a second chance. I really, really do. Well, technically, he's like the Rams because he had a bunch of second chances and just didn't do anything <laughs> with it. But, uh, <laughs> no, nah, but I, I really hope I hope the issues that he's been going through, I hope he gets that together. And that's just on the human tip, man. Like, as, a, as an individual, I hate to see individuals like that who have that level of talent and, and that level of potential. You, you talk about AB to, to not to not to not use it. Yeah, still talking about AB. I, yeah. I I want him to definitely, but I'm just saying the juice isn't worth the squeeze for us. 
Had yeah. this been a year ago, two years ago, yeah, we could take that chance. But it's just not worth it at this point. We have what we need, especially at that position. Like, oh, we're stacked. We're stacked at that position. Too many so, guys. And, I'm, and, you know, it's funny, Mel, the real risk is you bring A.B., and I'm sorry, but uh, Leopard's not going to just change his spots. He's not going to be anything but who he is. That's why I, that well, just that's, freaks me out. Let's, I mean, let's, give, let's give Trez the benefit of the doubt. And let's say that this Leopard – defies all the odds and abs- and actually does change his spots because we don't really know what's going on with the guy. Uh, you know, people say it could be concussions. It could be a lot of different things, but <laughs> definitely he's changed. His he, he's changed a lot. We just have to hope that he's consistent. My thing is the juices are worth the squeeze. We're going to have yeah. to pay the guy. We, we don't have the money to really there's another thing. pay a guy. Like- That's another right. Thing. So we, you see the topic of tonight. We're talking about trying to figure out who we can bring back for next season already. Right? And it's not looking good. We're and then here comes A.B. First thing he does. Right. Hey, man, I can see him. The first thing he does is walk in the locker room. All right. Y'all know who I am? I'm in charge. All right. What I say, y'all better be listening. Because if you want to win, I'm A.B. Boy, right. what did you say? Right. No. Right. I don't want it. I just don't want it. But yeah, let's say he even, he does even come in humble. Like I said, we just don't need him. Like for what? Anyway, for what? We got playmakers galore. We got playmakers galore, man. We don't need AB. So yeah, well, I tell you, you know, I I didn't want him back then. I definitely don't want him now. Cause I think you know. Oh, you, you didn't know, want him back then, Rambo? No, no. I was yeah, one of the guys. Taken, was, I'd have definitely taken him back. Then. I was I was one of the guys that just didn't. I could feel a problem. I said, this dude, man. <laughs> He's going out. He's leaving oh, okay. Pittsburgh with all that drama. He goes to Oakland, and now his helmet won't work. His feet, he fried yeah. with friends. I said, what the? No. This dude, there's more there than, than anybody's noticed. And I know he's one of the best, of, maybe one of the best of all time. But as soon as he gets to the 49ers field and starts cutting up and doing everything but playing football, I'm done. It'll be too late. Oh, yeah. That scared me. So. Yeah. Well, you know why I, I didn't take kind of that, that type of deal is because people were saying the same thing about my guy. You know who my guy is, man, T.O. It's a little bit of a different situation. <laughs> because a lot of the stuff with T.O., a lot of the stuff with T.O. was just media hype, yeah, and it was never it's... any stupid off-the-field stuff at all. Well, ever. see, that's what I'm saying. Um, so it's I... a little bit different. It's... Yeah, but T.O. And I... also with social media, we see what's going on. Yeah, so... maybe. Yeah, and soliciting people on Teal was on. I mean, not Teal, but Amy was on social media getting people to tell. How do I get out of Oakland? What? No. Oh, that's it. This dude's got no character. He's just strange. Right. No, please, right. <laughs> Melba. We gotta go. We're out of time. All right, my bro. I'll catch you right, tomorrow, bro. man. Trez, I love you, bro. But yeah, I, he I, knows. tomorrow, Monday Night Raw, you get cooked. I got to cook you tomorrow. <laughs> I love Dion. I love Dion, you Trez up. Dion, you the Dion, you the, you the bro, man. You my brother for real, and I love you. But Monday Night Raw, I got to cook you, Dion. You <laughs> oh, got, my God. You, you got to die tomorrow. You got to die. stage is so, getting yeah. set. <laughs> yeah, all yeah. Right. It's a lot of murder going to take place tomorrow. <laughs> all right, all right, man. All right, man. Um, shout out to Paul and Gene, too. Night, fam. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Monday Night Raw hasn't been Monday Night Raw for a long time. When we start playing winning football, we stopped doing each other, you know? We had to tone it back anyway when we were doing it because it got crazy. But this is fun. Hey, hey, John! Come on in, John V! My man, Rondo. John. What's uh, John, man. I'm, I'm, I'm looking down, and I don't know why. I guess because it's off season, But I'm looking at some of the players' names. They're on that list that may not be able to stay in the red and gold. It's kind of a sad depressing thing. It's all a business. And like I've always said, John, people always say things like, what you need to do as a fan and realize it's the name on the front, not the back. I I could never, ever do that. People used to say that. Like, Big Show says that to you in a heartbeat. I can't do it. I just never could do it. So, you know, I'm looking at these names. It's kind of sad. But, yeah, John, what do you think? Who are you going to Sacrifice, or better, who are you gonna keep? Either way. Uh, Rombo. First off, my man, you know all this about Jamal Adams and AB Rombo tonight <laughs> show. Hell, every show till the season starts, Rombo. It's gonna be about you gotta have it too. titled. Show me the money. Yeah. <laughs> Where the hell is the cash. money? 
Because, <laughs> you know, Where people don't have guys? a play. They want to gut the team, Joe. I think most people want to gut the team, give up all the draft picks, bring them in. We don't care what it costs. Just bring them in. That's the mentality of a lot of people. <sighs> oh, my God. Rumble, I – I mean, looking at the list here, man, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't want to – I just – it sucks to be good, Rombo. I mean, yeah. when you're good, you got to make sacrifices. You do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you start kidding. I mean, I don't know, Rombo. I, I, you know, we were talking about the best cornerback to play the nickel earlier this evening, and um, I agree, but I also – I mean, where do you start? I mean, Uncle Sherm is the is the is the veteran of the of the secondary, let alone the whole damn team. But I don't want to sacrifice Sherman, and I don't want to sacrifice KB, uh, Blair. What do we know about Blair? Did he extend anything, or is he is he yeah, going to be a free agent this, a, after this season? Yeah, he he signed a one year deal, like so many guys did, and this okay. is why we got all those double digits. And the free agents leaving next year if we don't come up with some some kind of a deal. They can't do one year deals for cut Rombo. Hmm? I mean, I, you know, there's a lot concerning me here. Uh, I, I don't know. You know, it seems like regardless of what I say, these free agents that we're, we're in the news about, they could throw a monkey wrench in all of it. So I really, okay. I really don't know. I, I don't know who I want to keep and who I don't. I mean – well, you know, I heard you, everyone's you know you're going to keep George Kill and Trent Williams. Those guys are absolutely you just you can't replace them at all, no matter what you do. There's nothing out there better. Now, from there, yeah, you, you know you got to scratch your head. And I don't know if juice is not an everyday thing either. So you figured three, no, already. You know, I mean, so juice is juice is in the. He could be though, Rombo. You never know. I mean, uh, Dwelly. I don't know. I don't know that I'd bring back Dwelly. Yeah. There you go. And I'm keeping K1 because I don't know if there's a better slot I'm cover in the K-1. league. I'm keeping K1. Yeah. No, there's probably not. I mean, uh, we'll, we'll keep K1. Um, I mean, you got to keep Garland. There's no question about it. That dude can't go. Yeah. See, because um, because Weston Richburg is going to go down. I already got it planned. Richburg's going to – that's what he does. Richburg will start the season with you, but he's not going to finish with you. So, yeah. Yeah. He's not going to finish. So, so what do we? We got Robbie Gold. I, I don't. I don't know. He never really wanted to be a Niner. <laughs> but like. he's one of the. He's <laughs> legendary, though, but, John. I. You know what? I. Yeah, I, I don't want scared. him to go. I never wanted him to go, Rombo. I, I just felt like he never wanted to be here. Well, he's, his contract's not up for another couple of years, I think. Yeah. Yeah, he signed a two-year. I thought. Was it only but two? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I, I you might be right. Two, uh, back in. That, yeah, I think he signed a two-year on seven fifteen twenty nineteen. He signed a two-year ten point five million dollar contract. Only two. Guaranteed. Okay, so we got win for so, one more year. So his contract expires next year too. So right, yeah. So next year he's he throw him in the mix too. How many does that make? Oh. <sighs> KB, we know we're keeping KB Rombo. I don't see yeah. us moving on from KB. Um, but then I look at. But what about Emmanuel Mosley? Now, if anybody in our cornerback room is reliable, other than Sherm. It's probably mostly, right? Yeah, but do you want to move on from talent young? I mean, we really he I don't think they would move on from him, Rombo. I really don't. Not right. unless they not unless they really, really Harris, do we know where he stands in all of this? No, this is the thing, you know. Him and him and Verrett, what are they gonna do? Are you guys ready to go? Yeah, the- Verrett, I that's the guy who's been literally sitting in the cupboard. I mean, where do you where, how do we forget about this dude all the time? I just... Uh, God, Barrett's name comes up constantly. <sighs> I mean, he was a shutdown. He was a shutdown at one oh, point. He, he was, was tough. good. So, uh, he, signed a, he signed a one year... Uh, Another one? March, that's what he's ever going to do. And the 49ers taking a chance, giving him no, a second know. one-year deal, which is amazing. No, I see. I see. Barrett's probably gone, Rombo. Barrett's probably gone. Uh, they, they move on from... Uh, uh, they wouldn't move on from Ju- from Juice, I don't think. No, nah. I truly don't. Uh, no, Brunskill. I-, I don't see us moving on from Brunskill. Do you? I don't either. Too versatile. You could plug him and play Jeff, him. R- Jeff Wilson. I mean, Jeff Wilson. He signed a one year, so he'll be. He's restricted though. So. Yeah. So if you keep him on that deal. But you, how many? On you're gonna, deal, you're in- one year deal. These guys. These guys want to. 
they want a more secure situation. Yeah, as a running back, though, that's John. Running backs don't complain anymore because they know their value in today's NFL. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. I mean, George Kittle's contract, Rombo, truly, truly makes everything just Difficult. pause. Like the, everything, everything literally stands still when we negotiate this man's contract. <laughs> it did, I mean, didn't it? You really can't. <laughs> it does. It just stops everything. It has to. Everybody screaming out, "Let's bring on AB." Let's bring on Jamal Adams. <laughs> Every time they say it, Rombo, it's as if they have no idea. Do they even know how much money we have to work with? Oh. God you know what, damn you know, it, it's none. It's estimated at 60 next year. But you know what? Here's the thing. One thing you, between you and I, John, I know some people won't accept it. I would. There is no way in hell that A.B. ends up on this team. John Lynch and Kyle Shannon are not about to put up with A.B. for a split second. There's just no way it's going to happen. Absolutely. You're talking Trash, I'm about, sorry, but that's the gospel about, truth. Like, <laughs> Adams right. is another no, story. I, agree. I, I don't know. I agree. I, mean, I don't give a damn if the Seahawks get him. I mean, I really don't. I don't want to see. I, I truly think we have talent to shut down yeah. AB. And we do. Dude's gone too crazy in the last few years. Yeah, uh, he, he can't possibly be on his game. Yeah. He, he, he's, his focus is disrupted and always has been. So. Mm, mm. So he's, uh, he's, he's, not a, he's, he's not something anybody should lose any sleep over if you don't want it. Now, if you do want him, you might as well start losing sleep. He's not coming. But Adams, the 49ers may be looking into that, John. I don't know. We'll see. We'll be, so we ran the clock, though. Let me uh, – let's see. And I'm gonna get, I, I was meant to contact you yesterday. I'll get back to you shortly, okay? Yes, absolutely, Rombo. You got it, my man. Anytime. Right, you know man. it. I appreciate you for everything you do and everything you do Thanks, for the platform. John. Shout you know, out to the chat. It. Shout out to IB. My man, Rombo. Ew. Take care. Good night, my man. You too. Be safe. Good night, John. All right. Good night. All right. And since day one, and we've not heard from since day one a long time. Since day one. Come on in, man. Hey, what's up, family? Hey, long time to hear from you. How you doing? All right. I'm just right here taking it easy. All right. Good. It's, 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 uh, it's Sunday. Uh, dwelling, drifting on a memory. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. There's a song that starts out like that. Drifting yeah, no. on a memory. I've called? been watching it. I've been watching everything going on. Yeah. Well, since they won, you know, we're trying to figure out how bad is it going to be next year because we got some skilled players or top 10 guys. We're not going to keep all 10. You know, yeah, I noticed you that. look at Kittle and Williams, you know they're staying. Hopefully the other Williams, K Wan is staying. I don't know how you're gonna get rid of juice. So you know it's it's getting crazy. Yeah, hopefully they take friendly deals. Yeah. Hopefully. I mean we can't can't roll it out because I mean they've been um what, K one, they've all been with us since day one. I mean they're they're part of a, a championship team right now, they're part of a culture and it's not guaranteed they're gonna do that. Some players they don't. Yeah, a lot of them do want the paycheck. You'd be surprised. A lot of them will go for the paycheck instead, but hopefully they don't because it mm. is possible that they do. It yeah. is possible. Yeah, I tell you. But it is. It is. It is. Uh, it's good. A lot of them are on, on uh, rookie contracts. Yeah. I. You know the thing is though. You. You. Um. They might. You know it's so it's funny possible. because what? What if they draft? You look at like players like Dre Greenlaw. Nobody knew he was going to come in and have the impact that he did, right? But honestly, I know what you mean. What if they just keep hitting? What if they just keep what hitting? What if they keep hitting home runs, right? See, because, like, yeah. you you can see you don't really need Quan Alexander as yeah. badly as you did when you signed him because you didn't know about Drake Greenlaw. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. That could happen again. It, can, it is possible because I believe – I mean, I'm a big believer in the system, and I don't really think – People talk about, oh, we got all this talent. The Niners have all this talent. You must, you guys weren't saying that shit last year. <laughs> Two years ago, we didn't have all this talent. Where did all this talent come from? We didn't I just know, go right? and pick up all this talent. They've been here. They've been here. It's just a system they buy into. I remember it takes we had time. It takes time for them to mature and get into it, you know? George Kittle, remember mm. his first year? He was okay, but he wasn't a monster just yet. <laughs> Second year, he blows up. I mean, in the last year, I mean, this past season, now all of a sudden you got a monster. <laughs> I you got know? you. So No, yeah. Um, like I said, when we, had, um, when we had the Super Bowl team with, with John Harbaugh or Jim Harbaugh, it was um, – we had what all them. We, had, uh, we, we already had them, and it's just the system and the coaching. 
and it transforms them. And it's not, it's not just, I don't believe the talent's there. These people are not in the NFL because they're not talented. I just gets me mad when they say that. It's just, it's all coaching and the system they're buying into because when they give it all their will, mm-hmm. good things are going to come from that. And that's what we have right now. We have a system that anybody can plug in. And and they're buying into it, and the confidence goes up. And well, no, well, since they won, like I think more to the point is they draft players that fit the system. Because like you look at everybody thinks Jamal yeah, exactly. Adams could come in and just take Kwaski's job. Well, maybe not. You know, Kwaski has learned that. No, system. he will. He, well, he will. Just, I, that I just use him as an example. You you could be right. I just use him as an example of. Sometimes the 49ers go get players that may not be so good in another system, but they fit what we do perfectly. You know what I mean? Because they're good at doing yeah. that. They go get the right players. Those scouts are amazing. I mean, it's just scary. And I got a feeling Javon Kinlaw is going to be just straight up murderous. And Chris Kasson yeah. said, get him. I'll turn him into a monster. Bring him. They did. We're going to see. Yeah. No, I think, man, it's just you bring him up, and that'll run. You that'll transcend the defense to a whole nother level. Yeah. When's that? It's it's rare. It's rare that you see it every now and then. You see a safety. I've only seen it twice when the safety is crowding the line and he dives over the center to get to get the quarterback. Yeah, but that that's when illegal. The no, a kickoff. What is that illegal? No. No, no. The, think... It's a it's a regular 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 play. No, I mean. I think but, it's but they can see it. It's either going to be a QB sneak. I'm talking about just a safety crowding the line, and then yeah. when, the, when the ball no, no, snapped, I, he remember Cam, it perfect. Remember, Cam Chancellor got flagged for that last time I saw. I, I think it's I think been that was, uh, Yeah, it's against the rules. You cannot dive over the Special teams, isn't that, a, isn't that in the special snap. teams? I don't know. I just thought I remember that being flagged. Maybe not. Maybe it is okay otherwise other than the punt. Not sure. Yeah, no. No, not a punt, just a regular, like if it was a fourth down sneak. No, you're talking about a regular play regular from scrimmage. Play. Yeah, I know what you mean. Okay, maybe. Yeah, but that's uh, he's he's one of the only ones that she did that. The last one was Troy. And, uh, I mean, he just, he's a, he's a, I mean, I can talk about him for days. I really like him, but I, I think it's a pipe dream, too. We should have drafted uh, him I mean, instead of Solomon Thomas, if you wanted the truth. And, and yeah, you know, I mean, and you know, uh, said, you know me. Don't get me started, Rombo. Know. You know I'm a solid guy. <laughs> I'm, uh, that's that's my dude right there, Rombo. Uh, that dude's got his – when you, when I see – I love to see him run, chasing down players from the back. He won't ever <laughs> stop. you see him. That dude. Oh, man. And he's going to – I mean, you never know. What, so what if he breaks out this year? What if? Luck? I Are hope so. Take all that back? Hey, I will take it all back. I will kiss. I mean, I will, I will praise too, Solomon Thomas. For the Rumble, you too. You switched. You switched up, Rumble. You went flip on me because you've been backing them up. So I do because I'm, I'm hoping. I keep praying. Rumble, Solomon, Solomon, please come to the park. Where's that Solomon? Uh, the the Solly bunch. Stand up. You have one for J Dub. <laughs> this guy. I remember y'all, man. I remember I did not want Solomon Thomas that year. I was busted to pieces, man. When they said, "In the 49ers select from Stanford." Defensive tackle. Oh my God! No, but I thought it was a joke. Of, I mean, this year, this year they said that they're going to play him in the inside. They rumble. They had. They don't give him a chance of just playing in the inside. They they keep throwing him outside. It's because he's that. He's versatile. He could. He's not going to make plays on the outside, but he can hold the. He's, he can hold it down out there. I and hope so. That's not. They, he needs to get 100 percent snaps in the inside where he was drafted. Right. Throw him in there. I don't believe in switching positions and all that. These dudes played one position for years and years. Dedicated, and then you ask them to do it. Of course, they can maintain. They can hold it down, mm-hmm. trying, but yeah, he was. Um, I since day one, please, and I'm I'm praying, man. I'm I'm hoping this is it for Solomon Thomas. This is his year. He comes in just really just ruining things. God, I hope so. Anyway, Val, hey, we gotta go, Val. Let me if you get a chance. Don't be a stranger. Continuously get back in here tomorrow night. We'll be back. Yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that, Rumble. I'll be talking to you soon. You'll be cool. And I'll you too, bless fam. you. Bless your family. You too, fam. All right. Nice. All right, Rumble. All right, bye. Yeah, I want to make it clear. I never, I said, I've never said, I didn't, you know how I felt draft night. I lost my mind when they called his name. I thought there were so many better choices than Solomon Thomas with that pick. I'm not going to lie. You saw me. I lost it. And if you didn't see me, I'm telling you right now, I didn't want it. I'm all behind him. Once he puts on that red and gold, I am your guy. I will support you till the cows come home. 
But I'm saying, Solomon, please make your statement this year. I'm not going to change for that. You know, Sheik knows because Sheik's on the phone right now. Sheik! <laughs> <laughs> She e e e oh she she came. Hey Josh. Hey Rombo, what's up? Josh, man, I'm sitting there as I was saying earlier. We're wondering who survives and continues to be a San Francisco 49er next season. There's some names in here that you just can't imagine leaving. It's real scary. 49ers made the cash. They spread it out real thin. You go, okay, well, how about can we give you a one-year contract? Can we give you a one-year contract? We got 35 guys next year are unrestricted. 27 are unrestricted free agents. That'll leave too many more. It's boy. But there's some big names on there. I mean, when you think of Trent Williams and Kwan Williams, Kwaski T, Sherman, Emmanuel Mosey's on there, Kyle Juszczyk. You know, this is it for George Kelly. You got to give him his money. DJ Jones, who's coming on, looking better. Daniel Brunskill, he can put in for any offensive lineman that goes down. Call Daniel, he can handle it. Kendrick Bourne, I'm just, I think this year's going to be wildly crazy for him. But hey, who are you going to resign? Well, um, you know, it's been a long time since I've uh, made a call in. Yeah. Um, too long, man. But, um, Obviously, you know, the number one is Kittle. You know, that's yeah, huge priority. No argument you know, there and I wanna anybody. Yeah, I wanna point that out that this whole Kittle thing, it it is putting a, a stall on, you know, these other players too. You know, because we don't want to make a big decision on other players and come up short with Kittle. Yeah. You know, so uh Kittle and his agent, they need to get this deal done. <laughs> and uh his agent needs to stop being so damn money hungry. You know, it's, he can be uh, money hungry, but be reasonable. It's gonna ruin about it. It. God, it it could ruin his career. It could potentially get him, you know, to where we don't sign him, and he goes to a crappy team, and ends up getting injured, and there goes his his whole career. You know, and and the so, coach is not as good as Kyle Shanahan because a lot of yeah. Georgia's success is predicated from having a brilliant coach like Shanahan. So you know, you got I yeah. want to keep that in mind. Yep. And you know what? Kittle's a football guy. You know, it's been a long time since, you know, we've seen any player that is diehard like he is, especially mm. with the sense of humor, how he is for the team, you know. Don't forget it, about the haircut. Done, but not, yeah. not $20 million. Yeah, the haircut. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> George, no, George knows probably he shouldn't be asking 15. for $20 million. He's just sitting back watching. He's not yeah. saying anything, but he knows that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll probably settle for 15 I hope but, so. Um, I, I think the second person on my list would have to be Juice. I, I mean, yeah. he is so crucial to our our team. You know, the the fullback position it's it's virtually dead. You know, oh, it yeah. was dead, and you know it's it's coming back now. And you know, Juice he's such a huge part of our team. Um, he's so without good him at on it. the field. Yeah. Oh, he's he's amazing. You know, no, there's no other fullback is like him. Um, you know, so and Josh, we when you look him. at the combination of George Kittle, Kyle Juszczyk, and now you add Trent Williams to the mix, you got big Mike McGlinchey on the other side. You know, this is really going to be another year where they're just going to just run teams off the field. But Kyle's not going to just do that this year. This year he's going to have a combination. Jimmy is going to be a part of the offense a little more this year because everybody should know what they're doing now. And it could be really something special we gotta get it out there though yeah definitely definitely yeah and you know we've got herd coming back you know knock on wood you know i remember the last time i was on the phone with you i was telling you he'll be back his back will be fine he he will be a beast this season you know our offense it's going to be it, it's not going to be anything like it was last season it's going to be 10 times better oh yeah um yeah, oh yeah I'm, I'm so excited I'm confident to see that it. too yeah because now you got guys know everybody and, knows what they're doing now. It takes a year in Kyle Shanahan's offense. A lot of people don't understand that, but they will soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And KB, he showed up. He's not going nowhere. Yeah, got to have him. He's staying. And I would say DJ Jones too. He stepped up hugely. Yeah. That guy is a beast. Oh. He can stop the run. And well, 
And God, does he, man- does he yeah. mangle up sinners? I love when he does that. That Seattle Seahawks center was just a, he looked like a child out there. DJ was just abusing him. I loved it. Oh, Hoo-hoo. when we played Seattle in the, the first time we played him, he sacked Wilson. He was, he was on fire. And... <laughs> he, he, he was so quick. <laughs> the sinners landed in the dirt. And Wilson's, who is this dude? <laughs> oh, that was so much yeah. fun. Oh. <laughs> But you know, I mean, I'm I'm not the you know too big into the cap numbers and where we're at in space. You know, um, I don't keep as well track of that as you know what the other callers do. But uh, you know, for for me, that's my three main guys right there that yeah. I think make a huge testament. And Sherman does too. But you know, um, I'd like to keep him, but sooner or later, he might not be able to play. You know, it just might catch up to him. Yeah, um, he wants to you know, move. Because to... he's thir- thirty-two now. Yeah, he wants to move to s- uh, safety. So, uh, I don't know. It's going to be kind of interesting to see what they do. The decision has to be made. I don't know how much he is going to still need to be paid, though. Because this is the thing. They, 49ers got to start to budget. We didn't have to budget like three or four years ago, right? We had oodles of money, but we weren't winning any games. That's the way it works. When you don't have any money is when you win in games because now you got a bunch of yeah. good players, right? So then it gets really tough. So you can't keep everybody. I mean, how many teams we see? Look at the Rams. There's a team that melted down to a bunch of clowns now because they can't afford to pay anybody. <laughs> the Seahawks. Yeah, they, they liquefied the whole factory. <laughs> yeah. And then the Hawks, the team they had. Oh, they were tough. I hate to admit it, but they were tough. And yeah, now yeah, everybody's they were gone. Tough. Yeah. See, that's that's the way it works, unfortunately. So. Well, you know, I'm not too concerned about it, Rombo, because you know we find diamonds in the rough in the fifth round, and with with guys that aren't signed, you know, in the in the draft. Yeah. So you know, we have the winning formula with that. Yeah. Well, we're gonna see what happens next because these guys, you're right about the draft. Hey, but Josh, hey, don't be a stranger, man. Let me let's see you tomorrow night. We're out of time. We'll be, if you get a chance, okay? Yeah, Rombo. Hey, man, don't. Don't block me in the chat room. <laughs> no, no, that was an accident. That, that wasn't me, by the way. Production was working so fast trying to get rid of the, 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 the slime that got in here tonight that the, you actually got caught up in the raid. Yeah. I was in the crossfire, man. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. All, all right, right, fam. No, it's all good. Talk to you later. All right, Ramo. Night. Is, is Sheik back? Oh, oh, Sheik. Oh, Sheik. <laughs> What's up, Rambo? What's going on, man? Sheik, man. Tonight, we've come to the point. Sheik, because you and I and, 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 and a, a, a few <laughs> others, we've all went through this from the beginning. All right? uh, we went through Tom Sula, and we were crying every Monday night on Raw, going nuts. And, and yep. then, of course, we went through uh, Chip Kelly. Kelly. And, and then finally, uh, we got rid of Trent Baalke, and things started looking good at me. Okay. And we picked up, finally got a good GM and a coach. And now, look at look where we are. We come, we're coming around with 180 degrees. Now we're the, the shiz knit. We are yep. the alpha dogs of the NFC West. So now we're crying about, oh, man, how are we going to keep all these guys, man? We're running out of money. Yeah. Do, so she, what do you do now? Who are you going to, you got to let some people walk. Or you got to make a trade or something. But this unit, as it is right now, it is not going to be here next year. It's a scary thought. What are you, who are you guys? Who are you going to try to keep? You got to bring the the guys, the core guys back. Lumbo, like Fred Warner's. I think he's that guy. His, like I don't know if you guys know. Expired though. No, I think Fred's got another year. Yeah, so. but yeah, he has a year, another year. But you have to think about the future as well. well and yeah. these guys that you know. The fact that you, it factor guys, because honestly, I could sit, I could tell Sherman is just like around him, just like teaching him. He every time he talks now, I was like, he just talks like Sherman now, and it, it just <laughs> like his know. education that he comes out of his mouth is like ridiculous. Yeah. And everybody knows when he got drafted, and he, when he was in the first day on the film, and every he had, he was the first one in and the first one out. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's the first one in and the last person out. Let me rephrase that. So he, he, the guy has great talent, and there's other guys like I know a lot of people like DJ Jones. I was at that game when he got that sack on Wilson. That was freaking great. 
but it's like a truck coming up through there. <laughs> the center just got mauled. Yeah, I was like, damn. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing, man. Like the crowd was so lit. I was like, oh wow. And then like, yeah, it's so many things that happened that game. It was like, dude, that defense was lit. Like, obviously, you can't bring it back, unfortunately. Um, DJ Jones. That's why we got Javon Kinlaw and Eric Armstead could be there. We have the rotating guys coming in. Uh, don't sleep on Kevin Givens. That guy has potential yeah. to uh, take over. Uh, that's why – and there's another guy that we uh, – I believe that you uh, tweeted him. That tweeted yeah. about him. Uh, him. Daniel, Nebraska Daniel. He reminds me of DJ Jones a little bit, Rambo. Wait, what's – what's Nebraska – uh, from uh, Nebraska, Daniels, the defensive tackle. Is he on our team? Middle one that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh right, I, re- I I do re- I read something about it. He's he's on the practice squad right now, and yeah, yeah. Uh, I see. This is what we're missing. This is the time of year where we get to hear and see these guys, and <laughs> and then you can start mm-hmm. saying things like, "Whoa, what do we got here?" So, but we got to wait yep. till next month, or yeah. Yeah, two games, unfortunately. But uh, but let me just say about the contract situation with George Kittle, he will sign. He's not going anywhere. No, I know. Um, you know, this is a pe- it's, it's fortunately it's just a pandemic situation. Everything's all on hold. And that's why, like Jamal Adams, you know, he can say whatever he wants, but he, it's not going to happen. Um, yeah, Cam Newton got signed today. I was kind of surprised, but uh, not surprised was because of Belichick. Um, and then the thing about like trading wise. You know, they he, they wanted Jimmy Garoppolo, and we, we just denied them, and then now they got Cam Newton. Uh, they got Medea on their team now. So, <laughs> hey, hey. I know. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. yeah. But Sherman, I, let me just say this about Richard Sherman, Rombo. He, he's not going anywhere. I think we should give him at least, like, a two-year contract. Would you? That, you what, a two-year contract? Well, yeah, yeah, I would. 32. I would. Um, going 34 by the time that contract is yeah. up. They don't have to give him. I think yeah, Sherman, like 30. Sherman doesn't have to be signed. Next year he has to be signed. So yeah, he'd be a free agent. 32, 33, you know, yeah, 35, yeah, maybe. He wants to play so safety. But who we got, though? That's the question. Well, Sherman said he's going to. Even you know, if he wants to play. He's gonna, he says he wants to retire at 35. Uh, he's already said that. So he might, 49ers might, yeah. they might as well let him finish with us, actually. Yeah, like if he wants to be like a free safety, I don't know if he could play that position or a strong safety. I, I see more free safety in him, but the speed is not always there, obviously, and everybody knows that. Um, but right now, if they say corner, if he's going to, even if they try to move him to uh, safety, we don't got He corner. said, like, I know. Other than Mosley. Like, I don't know if he could play so it. Who we got other he than Mosley? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh... That's what's concerning me. Like, we need to understand that. Like, what? We, Weatherspoon, everybody knows about Weatherspoon. Tim Harris, we're not really sure of. I know, we're not sure. Of. I really wish we could see him in action because they said he's good. And the only reason why he ended yeah. up in the draft so late is because of his injuries. So I want to—he's a—that's a—he's a real mystery. Yeah, but you know the big question mark though, Rombo, with all these like guys we don't want to bring back, is my my thing is is, is Kyle Shanahan's extended. They're not even talking about it right now. Yeah, they did it in the call, but it was like away from Kyle Shanahan. And John Lynch has not even been talking about it. Adam Peters is sitting there as well. And obviously, he's <laughs> going to be talked about. And everybody knows about him in the late round. But, you know, we, we probably shouldn't speculate too much. And I remember John's got three years left in that contract. It's not urgent to just sign him right now yeah. and extend him. So, because there's all kind of theories that are floating around about John Lynch. I, I, I just don't well, see it. But it could be. I don't know. So it's a, that's why we have uh, the best guy in the business. Uh, oh my, what's his name? Oh my Parag. god, the money guy. Oh my god, Parag Marathi. Yeah, there you go, Parag. He's the guy that we we, we got the diamond on the rough right there. He is the guy that you know, figures out these numbers. That's why. He, so, but yeah, you know, remember one thing about John Lynch, Jed York. He's already said, my coach is going to pick out his GM. Do you actually see Kyle said, nah, I don't want John anymore? Those guys are connected at the hip. I, I can't right. imagine yeah. Kyle saying anything but other than, nah, let's, let's, let's continue with John. We're, we we got a good thing going here. The only danger is you don't want to lose a guy like Adam Peters. The 49ers got to come up with some of the ranking, no. uh, maybe elevate John or something, but you don't want to lose president. Adam Peters. I mean, God, ew, oh. Yeah, I, I could see John Lynch. He could be like a president, like, uh, and then this. 
having Adam Pierce be like our general manager, like that mm. could work. Yeah, that's a win-win for us. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Just don't so let these guys I, get away. Martin we got a lot, of, a lot of work, man. Uh, yeah. Well, she, well, she, good stuff, man. I'll yeah. tell you what, let me see you tomorrow night, huh? Of course. So uh, I'm just happy to be here, Rombo. And all <laughs> to my people, how you guys doing? Faithful! Hit that like for Rombo Sports. And I hear like a Rudy sighting. Yeah, Rudy. Uh, three points, and we swept your ass. And what happened to you? Go back to go to. Have a good night. <laughs> you too, <laughs> Sheik. Appreciate you, Bless, fam. Love you, brother. Stay here, fam. Love yeah. you back. Uh, but one thing you do have to appreciate about Sheik tonight, it was fun after going through the rhetoric we got from him for all the better part of two years to watch him come in whining, sniffling, and using the word if at least, what, 50 times? <laughs> Uh, that was worth the price of admission. That's why I didn't interrupt him. Just let him keep going. You always, you never, you know how the cliche goes, you never argue with a fool. All of us won't know the difference. <laughs> like Frank Johnson thinks I don't see him. He's just taking weird shots at me for some reason. Yeah, Frank, enjoy yourself. I've got no argument for you, man. You're right. Hey, M G M. Oh, I forgot. What's going on, Rambo? From sparkling the strip in las vegas it's the mgm niner <laughs> what's up fam uh, put the put the uh, house on uh niners this year rombo <laughs> it, what, it's, what what the odds put that put the house on yeah put yeah. the house on the niners <laughs> <laughs> i like that yes 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 you know the, i think i think uh, this is a legend that goes all the way back they say that year that Joe Montana and the 49ers won that first Super Bowl, a guy came in, only one guy, yep. one dollar on the yep. 49ers getting to the Super Bowl and winning it. The odds, I think that guy's still spending his money. <laughs> yeah. My father, my father told me about that. I was Did really young, but yeah. <laughs> 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 what are you, how lucky can you get? That yeah. Niners odds against the Niners are stacked like a house. And he yeah. won. Wow. Like One dollar. Mike Tyson, Buster Douglas odds. It's, it's yeah. crazy. <laughs> you know? Because because everybody knew Spinks was going down, but my God. Anyway. Hey, yeah. but MGM, you got you gotta you gotta you gotta sign a few guys next year, but you can't sign them all. Have you got your favorites picked out already besides George Kittle and Trent Williams? Or if you know, but George Kittle's definitely gonna be on everybody's list, and Trent Williams mostly for the most uh -oh. part too. But after that, then what? Man, absolutely. You you gotta take the trenches should be priorities. Defensive line, offensive line, I think is you know, the priority. Um Kittle, if he, you know, becomes becomes into a you know they get hopefully they don't get to a Dak Prescott kind of you know controversy <laughs> war you know but that's fun for that's <laughs> With, entertainment you know. for us though <laughs> oh yeah anything they, you know Cowboys love being on on ESPN anyway I so, know, you know right they do this on purpose right? every year Jerry Jones has got some kind of drama going yeah. on with his players every year yeah yeah so. But um, no, uh, anyway, you know, fr franchise Kittle if we have to, if it comes down to it, you know. And you have that option too. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but take care of the trenches. Trent Williams, like, gotta it's gotta him. be. He has to. He has to come back. Mm -hmm. I mean, God, you know, we need protection for Garoppolo. Um, I mean. I think the 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 DBs the DBs will take care of themselves. I mean, we've done it. I mean, with the hard ball, I got who do we have? Alden Smith, Ahmad Brooks, Justin Smith, oh. coming. You know, oh. and who do we have back there? Carlo. I think Car we picked up Carlos Rogers. Mm -hmm. This this man, he had hands of stone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was not doing nothing. You know? you know, he comes. I think he has a career year with us. Yeah. That that um that one year, right? And, and even Hitner um, and uh and um you know they yeah, they yeah. were they were good at knocking people completely out, 
But I don't know. They weren't all that great as far as coverages and things like that. But they were, right. you know, they served a purpose. They intimidated right. and antagonized players so bad. You didn't want to make a play in the right. secondary for fear for your life. I kind of like that, though. Right. <laughs> yeah, you had no time to throw. They had no time to throw the QB. Yeah. You had no time to throw the ball, right? <laughs> That was a Pierre fun team, boy. That went. is, uh, I'll remember that for the rest of my life, right? The Saints, the, the divisional rival of the game. Oh, man, Ahmad Brooks. Pierre Thomas, goal line, right? Oh, man. <laughs> Whitner knocks him out. And the funny thing about it, he stood there and challenged him like a bull, scratching his feet on the ground. Yeah. I said, oh, man, you can win. Oh, yeah, that's all anybody yeah. could say. That, <laughs> that was classic. Oh, God. You know? Reminds you uh, Rodney Lott a little bit, e- even with the shoulder. That's when they just start aiming into the shoulder. Uh, yeah. You got to use the shoulder, you know. Oh man! To the head. And then you got Willis and Bowman. My God, that was a team. Right. But you know, oh my God, yeah. But for Best this time. But, you know, you look at modern-day football now, and you look at what we got now. These guys are going to be the, the, the standard. I don't know if football's going to evolve like it always does every year, but, but you know, these guys right now, they're, they're maturing into a team that could be, we look back on and say, remember them 2019, 2021, 22, 49ers? Yeah. Look at some of the names you're going to still yeah. remember. Let me talk about them because these guys are good. They're just young. Yeah, we're, we're back in the window. We're definitely back in that window. Um, we're real young, um, but I mean, yeah, uh, Sherman possibly moved to safety. Yeah, right. Um, Maybe. I think the last the last time I, I remember them signing a big free agent DB was Nate Clements. Yeah. Back in uh, you know, and they they paid a lot of money for the lockdown. He's supposed to be a lockdown corner, you know. Didn't really you know do much with us, but. Is it- we didn't have that pass rush, but that it's, pass rush, I mean, that's where we got to invest in. That's right. And the 49ers finally, and I, I think they always knew that. Remember, I kept saying all the time, we need a lockdown corner. Y'all ain't going to get no lockdown corner until you right. get a pass rush. If teams, quarterbacks right. could take all day. The corners, the defensive backs are not going to win that fight. Receivers, an uh, NFL right. receiver will get rid of coverage if you give it enough time. It's going to happen every time. So we finally got that fixed. Yeah. And we've got some two really good mobile quarterbacks in our division with Wilson and, and uh, Arizona's quarterback. The, uh, he, he looks like he's going to gonna cause us some problems, you know, yeah. with his scrambling ability. Uh, I am scared of that dude. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. And now he's got, he's got right. D-Hop. Uh, <laughs> he, exactly. Oh, so that man. pass rush is – going to be, I mean, hopefully D4 has, you know, I know he was injured most of the year last year, but, you know, we didn't get the most out of him that we could have, but um, I hopefully hope he feels, that. I hope he feels you know, better this year, man. You know, he says he feels great right. right now, so we'll see. That's what they say, right. Um, but definitely, um, I think Tart is gone to, to Quiskey. Do you think, think so? You know, right. use check. Yeah, I mean, it's just too many there's too many, you know, too many players you have to bring back. Um, they're probably going to have to go young in some of those positions. Right? Yeah. So, You're going to bring uh, Juice back. Did you say you'll bring Juice back? I don't I don't know. I don't think Juice comes back because they kind of overpaid for him already. You know, <laughs> but when we, hey, had, hey, we had that. Do you, feel, do you feel they overpaid for him? A lot of people still feel that way. I In the beginning, I didn't understand. He's a, the only full, fullback I've ever seen you pay like that. But then, yeah. after I watched him play and seeing what he was doing and his right. effect on the offense, I says, well, maybe not. I right. didn't, I didn't, never seen a kind fullback a, do what he does. Right. Kind of joker, kind of joker. Delaney Walker, you know, kind of Ooh. player that we had. Remember that? Man, if we just could have um, kept Vernon Davis and Delaney together, oh, man, we could have had the greatest yeah. one-two combination. Took them out two-headed. Whoa, monster yeah. running into tight end position. Good God. Right. <sighs> I mean, yeah, the same year, the shot we had to pay Deshaun Goldson. He wanted crazy money. Like, I think <laughs> he he wanted see what happened to that. <laughs> he went to, I think he went to Tampa Bay, and that was the last we heard from him. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, That's, you know, and a lot of times that happens. That's uh, what would happen, I think, with a couple of players we got that they do so well in, in the 49ers system, but it doesn't necessarily mean – you know, because you right. look at 
I look at the Nick Bosa. There's no no matter where Nick Bosa plays, he's going to be a force. I George Kittle, I think Kyle has a lot to do with some of his success because George is a really good player. He's big, he's strong, he's fast. But would how would he do in another system I, I, where they make him play more traditional full uh, tight end type of situation? Be interesting to see. I don't want to see it though, but he's got to stay a 49er because he is the 49ers. So, all right, yeah, we'll see. Definitely block that blocking. Yeah, gonna, oh, I mean, the that's the other thing too. The um, I think the run game is not going to actually going to be as potent as it was last year because everybody's so. got a read on us now. Yeah, well, but we look, got our, everybody's got. We're not we're not surprising people this year. Is what but I'm but the thing is. There was um, nothing people could do. You know, they everybody knew. Well, you know, hey, here's the thing, MGM. The Chiefs, you know what they started doing? Okay, the 49ers, uh, they actually did. The Chiefs came up with a remedy. What was it? I think they stayed home. You know how the 49ers have a lot of pre-snaps and a lot of things going on there to confuse the defense? Right. I, I think the Honey Badger said, guys, let's stay home. Just stay home. Don't go for anything they're doing. Don't put, don't pay attention to the movements. Just wait for the snap. So they stayed home on the on the on the snap. It actually was somewhat effective for one portion of that game. So the 49ers went to the air more to try to get them off the block. It worked for a minute. Look for teams to do that again. Mm. But here's the thing, MGM. Other teams can go ahead and make their adjustments, but you better know Kyle Shanahan's gonna make adjustments. For their adjustments. This is what I like about Shanahan. If you think he's going to run the same exact playbook year after year, get ready for the pain. <laughs> yes! All right. Oh, yeah. Especially with <sighs> Jalen Hurd in that, in that wrinkle this year. You know, and, you know the plays we should have oh, had last oh. year, right? God, so, if he comes around, we're in fat money. Man, we got to go. I tell right. you what I'm going to do. Let me, let's see you tomorrow night if you get a chance, MGM. All right? All right, Robo. Thanks for the time. Have, have, a, good, have a good night, man. You too, fam. Oh, hey, we've been here for a while tonight, fam. All right. Hey, fam, hey, hit that like. Frank Johnson, you and I did the like. In fact, enjoyed your company tonight. Keep bringing that silly rhetoric. I love it. Hey, and I'll see you tomorrow night on Raw, fam, and bring Frank with you. <laughs> Niner!